Hello, everybody! It is Thursday, December 23rd, 2021. Welcome to the final, or my final, live stream of the year. I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit. I am excited to see you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everybody, because I won't get a chance to say it live before it happens. Uh, so, like I mentioned in the Discord, what I'm going to be doing is after this stream today, I do have videos that are going to be releasing for you guys on uh, at least uh, this Saturday and then Tuesday and Thursday again. I've got a, a themed Christmas set up this Saturday. And then Tuesday is an MCU stream and Thursday is another randomizer stream. But I have already uh, recorded those games for you and they will be premiering on YouTube at the regular stream times. And I will be in chat talking to you at the same time. But... Uh, the game will, ha will ha ha happen to the past, and uh, we get to talk about all the mistakes I made uh, during those games. <laughs> That'll be fun. But uh, before I get started, uh, I did did want to mention that uh, I wanted to thank you guys for being so awesome and participating and coming to all these live streams and playing the Randomizer League. We had nearly a record number of people play this week. By the way, I was talking about how oh, we we're going to get the record. I missed a day. Back in September, we had 33 participants, but we still had a lot. We had 27 people play this week, which is awesome. And uh, I can't appreciate you guys more. Uh, I wouldn't have this community without you and the wonderful game <laughs> that we're all playing. So thank you so much for being here. It means a lot. Uh, also, thank you to Upper Deck for uh, being so awesome to me this year. Early in the year, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, when they were still doing um, their... Uh, remote live streams uh, They had me on at the beginning of this year. It was still this year 2021 and uh, we did a twitch plays legendary with upper deck Which was really cool and then later they did their legendary gamer campaign and they had me as part of that Which is also really cool and they just sent me literally an hour before I was starting the stream They sent me some gifts, so I figured we could open them <laughs> right now, and that's really really nice of them. So let's see It starts with uh, and then we'll go over the randomized league results they sent me a nice envelope. Let's see what's inside here. The most wonderful time of the year. Happy holidays, Big Old Top Games. It's been a pleasure working with you. Cheers to 2022. Wishing you the merriest Christmas. Hashtag stay legendary, your upper deck team. Yeah, it, uh, it's super, super cool. We've had uh, people from the D team come by to the streams, which is amazing. And uh, it, it's, it's just a lot. So I appreciate you guys uh, involving me this year in something. And... Uh, I'm just happy to be playing this awesome game and look forward to more expansions that come out. But they, they sent me stuff. They sent me a bunch of gifts. Should I open them? I don't won't get a chance to open them for you until uh, after the new year, so might as well. Let's go ahead. Drewfist, one year of being subbed. Happy holidays, everyone. Can't wait to see what these presents are. Me too. Um, I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> Man, if it's a glitter bomb, this is going to be a long stream. <laughs> Without even playing the game, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to start with uh, the red one here. Let's go ahead and open this one up. They didn't have to send me anything. It was super cool of them. So let's see. I'm one of those people who likes to open up the, the wrapping nicely, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this time. And what's that? I recognize this. <laughs> they sent me a copy of Legendary Annihilation. Super cool. Obviously, I have this, but I can uh, figure out what to do with this. I have lots of friends, so I want to get into Legendary. I just gave a friend uh, some Legendary the other day. Uh, so I'm gonna give this to somebody. We'll see. Super cool. I, I get gives me another chance to look at the box art on this. I love the art. I love one of my favorite color schemes is purple and green, uh, like with Green Goblin with Annihilus. So I love this box art. What a great! Ex if you haven't played this expansion yet, I highly recommend it. Um, <laughs> it was a um, it was a, a long wait for this. To, to be released and so when I did my review that definitely affected my review of course because I've been dying to play a new uh, setup however it's very very good even uh, given a few months since it came out in retrospect it hasn't really lost any quality it is an excellent expansion which is awesome all right what else uh, now I think I know it's in here but I don't know which kind they are any anybody know I'm excited all right gift number two from upper deck the wrapping is very well done. I, I am a terrible gift wrapper. So, it's all impressive. Ooh, sleeves. I got sleeves. Which ones are these, do you think? It's on the other side. Yep, these are these are their sleeves. Let's see what kind of sleeves they are. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, Doctor Strange sleeves. What if I put it in the close-up? Is that too much? No, that's cool. That works. I love this. He's got uh, 
He's got Mjolnir on one side and Iron Man's helmet on the other. I hope his head's not in there. And he's doing some mystic arts. Uh, that's super cool. I love this. Thank you so much. Uh, looks like I got two more things of sleeves. Let's go ahead and see what's in these. They have a lot of really cool sleeves, so I'm excited to see what comes up here. And I do play Versus System 2 PCG from time to time, which uh, requires a smaller deck of like a... Uh, I forget the number. <laughs> it's been a while. But it's a smaller deck. And uh, these sleeves work really well with those decks. All right. Sleeves number two is... Wow, the Galactus. Oh, this is I love this art. I was hoping that it would be these. Look at that. Very Galactus-y. Uh, the big piece of art on this I would love to get someday, but these look super cool. I love this. Thank you. Really cool. What's up, Excalibur? What's up, everybody? And we got one more. Uh, Versus System 2 PCG is not a deck builder. You build a deck ahead of time. It's... um. Think of it like uh, some competitive card game like Magic the Gathering where you build a deck ahead of time and you go head-to-head -head playing against somebody else's deck. But the cool thing about Versus System is you think that Legendary has flavor. Versus System is flavor the card game. Every single hero in that game um, has so much flavor and works just like the character that they're inspired by. The card mechanics are built around the character, <laughs> which is really cool. These are card sleeves Excalibur that Upper Deck sent me. And I'm finding out what the third set of sleeves are. They literally dropped on my doorstep uh, an hour before the stream, so I figured I'd open them. All right, here we go. And nice. Check it out. It's uh, Hulk staring at you. I love this. Well, yeah, uh, th these are great quality. I, um, I do have some already. I have the ones, the Thanos snap ones, but now I've got these. Super cool. Thank you so much, Upper Deck, for these. And I have one more thing to open, and I think I know what it is. But uh, I can't. I got I to gotta make some more versus decks if I'm going to sleeve them. Uh, if you go to, the, if you go to the, um, the channel affiliates in the Discord, I have a link to the versus system Illuminati. Uh, those guys over there are awesome. And if you are interested in getting into versus system, I have a chat in the Discord. We can talk about it. Or go to the versus system Illuminati chat, and uh, they will get you right into it. They do webcam games all the time. They're very friendly, very welcoming to uh, new players. I highly recommend that. Yeah, I think it is a playmat, but which playmat is it? That's the last thing to open. Oh, look. <laughs> it's the Wolverine playmat. I, that looks familiar. <laughs> That's the one right here. So cool. That's all awesome. That's actually useful because now I can uh, bring this over when I have mul more people playing and they can have a playmat too because I don't have any more playmats. I have this one. I have the... Um, Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the movie, and I'm glad you got your boosters. Uh, yeah, so I can have a, a double Wolverine now uh, when another friend comes over and play this. Uh, that's so cool. I this is a great It's a great mat. I thought you were to pan down into the whole thing. But uh, it's really cool. I love it. Thank you so much. I got to figure out who to give this Annihilation to. Thank you, Upper Deck. And I look forward to uh, any anything you want to have me for next year. I'm down. It's been a lot of fun. I love, you know, love the game. Yeah. Yeah, these Galactus leaves, I think, are my favorite thing out of the bunch, so I'm very excited about that. Okay. Oh, it is? That's really funny. Okay, without further ado, we have some results to go over for this week's league. Thank you for being patient while I open that up. I thought it would be fun. Ultron's Nuclear Armageddon. Any guesses before I show you? What do you think the win rate was? The overall win rate? How many... What percentage of people won versus how many... What percentage of people lost? <laughs> they would never do that, and I would feel bad if they did that because I would have opened them up on stream without knowing. 33% says Snash, uh, the win rate. Uh, I got scraps. I got scraps here. Yeah, that would be cool. No, if if they ever were to send me unreleased cards for whatever reason, there would be a ton of NDAs involved. Um, ask anybody who does playtesting. I reached out to them trying to purchase and replace my starting troopers agent scheme to a some massive strikes and they packaged them with a handwritten note. That's really cool. Yeah, they, they're they very, very good at replacing cards most of the time. If you're like, oh, I'm missing this card from this set or this card is damaged. They have a really excellent system for that. It doesn't always work, but a lot of the time they will send it to you for free. And uh, that's super cool customer service. All right, let's pop open the results right here. Where's my browser button? Here it is. All right, here we go. Week 43, Ultron's Nuclear Armageddon. Look at that. An 82% win rate. I do not know how you guys did it. 
I have a little bit of a guess, and that is because the the scheme is interesting in that there's only five master strikes uh, or um, five scheme twists that affect the city. Yeah, can you believe it? Um, so because there's five strikes, it's a pretty decent chance that that last strike where you'll lose the game is right there at the bottom. So that kind of makes sense to me. A lot of people mentioned the strike was pretty far down there in the villain deck. But uh, you liked it. You gave it a 4.1 uh, fun level rating of awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at these results. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's... Uh, if you were unlucky enough to get the, the, the twist at the beginning, you're not going to survive this. But because there's only five of them, I think the chances of you surviving are actually higher than we think. So here we go. Congrats to everybody who played from bottom up on the left. Rolling Meeple, Jinjos, Adam, Friend, Snash, Dre, Montax, and then there's my score. You got, a lot of you guys did better than I did. Hate PhD, Julian, Mikey, Ashy, and then Excalibur at rank four. And then for setup B, Big Mac, Excalibur off the cuff. Hate PhD, Greg Pass, and Better Half. Rolling Meeple, Micro, Disney, Montax, and Tales of Thetis at rank five. Let's go ahead and find out who won this thing. Here we are. For third place, if I did this right again, for setup A, it is off the cuff. Well done off the cuff with total rank points of 46.5. Looks like off the cuff got um, no escape villains, third place in points per turn, and fifth place in turns, but it was enough. Second place goes to Micro Disney 0505 with a rank score of 51 points. A few more over off the cuff. And did very well on turns. Second place in turns. Second place in points per turn for Micro Disney. And then first place goes to none other than Mr. Giraffe. With two more rank points than Micro Disney. 53. First place across the board. Well done there. This was not an easy game to... Well, I was going to say not an easy game to win, but I guess it was. <laughs> but to, to get to the top was, was very good. Um, all three top scorers in the 70s for points. Set up B... Fourth place goes to Snash108 with 37.5 rank points, 0.5 points over Tales of Thetis. Got um, fifth place for turn, sixth place for points per turn, but the few escaped villains was enough to put him up there. Second place was a tie between Ollie and Kyla and Julian with 38.5 rank points each. But look at the score differential. So Ollie and Kyla got third in turns, third in points per turn. Julian got first in turns and fifth in points per turn, but it averaged out to be the same total rank points. That's why I like this scoring. And then first place for setup B goes to Dre 2.0 with 41.5 rank points. So well done, Dre. Well done, everybody. That was fun. This was a fun one to watch the results come in on. Let's look at some quotes. Micro Disney says, Use Mirage's Nightmare Wolves on Black Panther's rare to get enough attack for the final blow. A bit odd to use the rare that way. Off the Cuff says, you know what's great? A Wonder Man deck when the HQ is flooded with blue, and that's one of the few things Ultron isn't empowered by. No kidding. 28 attack in one turn. Nice. And then Hate PhD said, man, what a nail biter. I was on top of the city just like on side B until the city lost three spaces across five turns, managed to keep range out away from Ultron and fill the HQ with it, which won me the game. That was a closer call, but well done. And set up B. Dre says, I figured you put Spider-Man in to be just as useless as Nurkod. Yes, I did. But I managed to build an effective Spider-Man deck with just one card that costs more than two. Wonder Man's rare. Longshot and Gambit made for an excellent team-up for the other hand, too. I had a heck of a time trying to find a replacement for Nurkod in this setup because he, he did practically nothing in setup A. And Spidey, I knew, was going to be somewhat useful with Gambit and Wonder Man, but it was the closest analog. And um, the win rate is about even between both, so I think that was fine. Montax said, had a lot of fun with a ranged deck plus Gambit's rare setup with a lot easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it looks to be that way. And then Excalibur said, whenever I recruit a tech card, the next turn is always a strike. It was really hard to manage the city and hitting Ultron when the twist popped up so early. The setup would be great if it was five players. That would be interesting. Uh, more cards in the villain deck that way, less, off less likely um, a uh, city space would be destroyed. So well done. Thank you to everybody who participated. I'll be updating these scores later. You guys want to find out what we're playing today? I sure do. And I'll pop those scores back up again in a little bit. Let's get set. Any guesses? Who are we going to see? We still got, um, we got a lot of tough masterminds left. So I did the math. Of course, I'm always doing math. Thank you, Mr. Giraffe. Hold on on your win. Wasteland Hulk says Mr. Giraffe. Kingpin says off the cuff. 
Did we? We didn't eliminate Kingpin, did we? I honestly can't remember. I like fighting Kingpin. Uh, I like doing bribe. Stop it! Don't bring that curse into here, Excalibur. <laughs> I don't want to fight Marie Hill today for the last live stream of the week of uh, the year. By the way, next week it, it's going to be a randomizer game, and it's going to be the game you're going to play. It's just pre-recorded, but I'll be in the chat, like I mentioned. But uh, this is the last one you'll actually be able to interact with me on. It'll be the Kingpin Hero. Yeah, if we did, if we did use it. Shadow King would be interesting. I can't recall if I've eliminated him. If you want to see which ones I've eliminated, just look at the uh, league sheet. It's all there. Onslaught. I think we got rid of Onslaught. Yeah, let's do a prediction. Godot reminded me. Start a prediction before, uh, before I run out of time. All right, last chance to predict and put your points in. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm afraid to do this. Noir Hero would be great. Love Investigate. Love seeing Investigate return for Masai Complex. By the way, if you guys didn't see, we got to see five new cards from Masai Complex and Dr. Strange. did a video on it. It's in the announcements. Cool stuff. All right, here we go. Headphones about to fall off my head. In three, two, one. Epic Fin Fang Foom crashes the moon into the sun. This cannot be good. Oh, no. <laughs> what if you guys brought upon me here? <sighs> yep, this scheme again. We didn't beat it last time, so now it's back. Didn't Mephisto do this last time? Now Fin Fang Foom's doing it. All right. What a long... The title's not going to fit in the YouTube description. Yeah, we did it five weeks ago. You're right. Out of all the schemes we could have gotten, we got one that we already did. A lot of Demolish, a lot of Crashing Moon to the Sun. Okay, Great Lakes Avengers for some reason. Where are they? Lots of discards. No kidding. Uh, Share Death Commandos. As our henchman today. That's okay, PhD. You can tell me later. Um, okay, Black Cat. Ooh. Somebody's favorite hero. Black Cat. Alright, don't tell Jay Purnell that Black Cat's part of the setup this week. Karnak, Ant-Man, Hercules, and Grethoth. I like Karnak. Karnak is a fun hero set. Check. Hercules. Alright, and Grethoth, Breaker of Wills. Don't, don't apologize. Do, do Go with your gut there. Alright, where is he? G-O-G-R. Yeah, this is the one that's uh, absorbing, man. Yeah, I was I was about to check the classes, Mr. Draft. Uh, only four classes for Fin Fang Foom. Oh, well. All right. I think that's all I got to grab for the setup. And we got to switch to his epic side. This might end quickly, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what is Fin Fang Foom? There's the scheme. All right, let's get the villain deck together. I don't know why the Great Lakes Avengers are here. I didn't grab Monsters Unleashed. I failed. Does anybody think they're opening any presents this weekend with Legendary in it? Yeah, that is interesting. I was wondering why that is. My uh, Absorbing Man hasn't appeared. I mean, he's not a great person in the comics, but he is a villain. So, all right, we've got... Uh, Five strikes. <laughs> it's a new surprise one that you don't have, Mr. Giraffe, that you can't talk about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's up, Mikey? And uh, two bystanders. Let's keep it a secret. Two mystery bystanders. Let me upload this before I forget. And we have 
Uh, 11 twists, so 11 piles. There we go. I bought 91% of my... $91 of my missing sets. Wow. Oh. I mean, if you were aware that, that was going to be the case beforehand, yeah, a lot of people's pre-orders are, uh, are holding up the rest of their orders, obviously, because they won't ship till the whole thing's out. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I hope I hope January is when we see it. That would be neat. All right, predictions are still up, and they're going to be up until I'm about to uh, to show the uh, HQ. All right, who's got tech? Ant Man has tech, of course. Hercules has tech with uh, with um with Amadeus Cho, so it's not a lot. And Black Cast is going to kind of get in the way. I don't know about this one. Ooh, uh, Grethoth says if you control an artifact, you get plus two. So I might have to lean in that way. I almost bought Doctor Strange with that bunch, though, until I read the fine print. The fine print in that uh, it wouldn't ship everything out until everything's released. Yeah. That's probably the best idea. I won't be able to legendary presence, but will likely be getting an expansion in the new year, trying to decide between Secret Wars 2 or World War Hulk. I mean, out of the two, I love World War Hulk more. Secret Wars 2 has some great hero sets, though, and some interesting villains and masterminds. But uh, if it were me, and those are the choices, World War Hulk. Well, that's just me. Okay, villain deck should be ready. So, Black Cat, Karnak, Ant-Man, Hercules. I do not have a good picture in my head of how these heroes are going to work well together. But, uh, we'll see. Um, World War Hulk, if you're not a big fan of the uh, the Hulk series of comics, or Planet Hulk, or World War Hulk, or anything else, some of the characters might be a little bit more, bit more obscure, but the, the mechanics make up for it with uh, Transform is awesome. Transform is one of my favorite uh, card mechanics, keywords. Outwit is cool. Got some great masterminds in there too. I love having all the Warbound as a team, because I love that run of the comics. Planet Hulk is one of my favorites. I love No Name Brood Queen as a hero. <laughs> it's ridiculous and I love it. All the feasting happening. Five, six, seven. So what does it look like right now as far as predictions? Channel points wise at 6.5 thousand to 10 thousand points. More points towards losing today. So we'll see. By the way, the setup I'm going to play on Saturday was made by was made by Snash. I think you're going to enjoy it. I had a really fun time playing it. It's a good one. I think you'll want to play that setup. It will premiere Saturday at 2 p.m. on YouTube this time. That'll be fun to watch the game played as I sit back and not play a game. For once. All right, come on. Let me beat nine minutes. Let me beat eight minutes. I can do this. I can do this. All right, hero deck done. Starting hands. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can clear eight minutes, no problem. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, additional scheme setup. Anything I have to do? There is not. So that is it. All right, seven thirty-five. That's a great time. I'll take it. You can't call me not efficient. Let's close it. Save those splits. Go over our setup today. So, for some crazy reason, we are fighting Epic Fin Fang Foom, who has size changing all classes. Always leaves Monsters Unleashed. Master Strike, demolish each player, then do it again for each Monsters Unleashed villain in the city and escape pile. KO. All the heroes demolish this way. Now, if I recall correctly, I don't think his uh, standard side does KOs. Yeah, only the epic side uh, KOs, so that is rough. And so just as a uh, quick reminder of size changing, because we have a couple of different uh, size changing mechanics in here, including Ant-Man. Size changing, you can recruit, fight this card for two. Oh, the emote's not working right now. Weird. Uh, if you played a matching class card this turn. 
So that means, um... With Fin Fang Foom, I can have a strength... I can have one of each, and then it'll reduce it by, uh, by two each, right? It's not like a cosmic threat where you have to have multiples of the same one. You have to have as many different kinds as you can. Right. Okay. 47% odd, 53% even in the game. Okay. And uh, Crash the Moon into the Sun, our old nemesis. We just had to deal with that with Mephisto not too long ago. Sadly, there's no range available. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, a, a good amount of... Uh, there's some ranged sidekicks. Lockja or Lockheed, one of the locks. I think I might be able to get one of those. We got 11 twists and then odd number twist, 1357. Moonlight, stack this twist next to the scheme as an altered orbit. Twist 2, 4, 6, 8, sunlight, same effect. Twist 9, 10, 11, same effect. Evil wins when there are four altered orbits. I had really bad luck with this last time. So maybe I'll have better luck this time. So altered orbit. And four ends the game. Okay. Does Fin Fang Foom KO the cards revealed in the hero deck or the cards that the players would discard as a result? Let me read it again. Demolish each player, then do it again for each monster's unleashed. KO all the heroes demolished. The second one. So the heroes demolished are the ones that I discard from my hand, and those are the ones that get KO'd. The ones revealed from the hero deck just go to the bottom as normal. I mean, that would be nice. That would be nice if it KO'd not my own cards, but... Uh... Not so lucky. Well, we're in for it, but uh, this is what I signed up for. Very painful. Very painful. I don't think we're going to see a 88% win rate this week, but uh, that's just a hunch. All right, let's end the predictions and reveal the HQ. Okay, it's 5-9. to nine. Lose. Um, I would say 9-5 to five lose, actually. Um, nine people said lose. 43% of the points to win. So you bet everything to losing? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if I can pull it out. Here we go. End submissions right now. Let's fill up this HQ. Here we... Oh, before I do that, the number of twists is wrong. It's 11. 11 twists. Okay. Now we can do it. Do we have a good starting HQ? Will I be recruit locked? We've got uh, Mace of Chains. We've got Absorbed Metal. <laughs> odd, odd, even, Giant Ego. Even Ride the Ants. And then even Black Cat. So, we are starting in Sunlight. Which is good news. Because the first twist, I fail on Moonlight. Snash is rooting for me. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Let's stop the dragon from crashing planetary bodies into each other. Right now. Okay, a three and three to begin the game. And we have our first henchman. The Shi'ar Death Commandos are helping this dragon for some reason. Ambush this villain, captures a human shield, fight KO one of your heroes. So let's give us a refresher on human shields. I have to get through the human shield before I can get to the henchman, and that's going to be a little annoying. But, uh, yeah, so it's captured the top card of the bystander stack face down. I can't fight the henchman until uh, I get rid of the human shield. I can uh, pay its attack value to get rid of it. So it's going to cost two attack to get rid of it, and uh, I can do that this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's play two attack and fight the human shield. And I rescue it. And uh, human shields are face down, so you rescue them at random if they have multiples. And it's a standard bystander, so I start by getting a bystander already. <laughs> it could be a hidden Amy, but luckily it wasn't. Alright, three recruit. So, yeah. I can safely take one of these threes and still have Moonlight. So let's look at my options. I've got two Grief Hots, what... Haven't used in a while. Mace of Chains. Throw an artifact when you throw this, you get plus two recruit. Pretty good for early game. I can strategically throw it when I want. By the way, a thrown artifact, you play it, goes out onto the, onto the field, and then when you decide to play it, throwing it means putting it on the bottom of your deck, and you get the effect. I would love to see how these thrown artifacts works with the new relic artifacts of Doctor Strange. And then we've also got Absorbed Metal. That also works with the artifacts. If you control the artifact, you get plus 
to attack. I couldn't have gotten any of any Guardians hero with Artifact too. That would have been great. But I will start with Mace of Chains to get some recruit when I need. This could actually help me change the HQ at a strategic time to avoid the Altered Orbit. Oh, I didn't adjust. Speaking of Altered Orbits, I gotta press this button here. And now you can actually see how many Altered Orbits there are. Zero. Cool. Moving over. Turn numero dos. Another three and three. What are the odds? Okay, Master Strike time. Hold on, before I press the button. Before I press the button, I gotta make sure the sound is right because I've not been good at that. What do you guys think? Monster sound today? I think that's that's appropriate. Alright, one, two. I always forget to do that. I, I caught myself a little earlier than normal this time. Alright, let's try that again. Master Strike! Alright. This will be fun. Demolish each player. At least I'm safe from the demolishing because everything costs zero in my hand. So, to demolish each player, I take the top card of the hero deck. Yeah. Top card is Jinx, Black Cat, who has a cost of five. So what I would do, uh, I would do it again for each Monsters Unleashed villain in the city and escape pile. There aren't any. So I put Jinx to the bottom of the hero deck, and it will whiff completely, yeah. So if I had a card that cost five, I would have to discard it and then KO it. But uh, yeah, everything's zero. <laughs> would he sound... Doesn't Fin Fang Foom speak? I think he has a voice. Should have the baby screaming sound. <laughs> Alright, well, he whiffs. Hopefully the first game twist whiffs too. I could really use those whiffs. But what's not going to whiff is my attack against the Shi'ar Death Commandos. Because they're unprotected. Their fight effect is KO one of your heroes. They are gone for two. And I will KO... Well, actually, let me play my, my agents first. I think. And then I'll KO one of my agents. Okay. So, nothing else to fight. Well, I already spent my two. So, three recruit. I took Greathoth on the left. I want Absorb Metal on the left as well. My only other options are Pickpocket, which is one recruit. And then it's got Wall Crawl, reveal the top card of any player's deck. You get attack equal to that card's printed recruit, plus it's printed attack. You can see why this card's not super popular. But it is a covert. It does have that color. So you know what? I am going to recruit it for one. I'll, I will wall crawl it to the top of the deck. So I get to draw it next turn. And uh, refill. And we'll get a sidekick. If I'm lucky, it'll be a ranged sidekick. It's not. It's a strength sidekick. But hey, that's still another color. So I'll take it. I'm still... Uh, I'm hesitant to take any even cards, of course, because I want to avoid... So this entire game, by the way, I'm going to try to avoid the HQ like I tried to do in the last game. I'm going to try to avoid the HQ being all even or all odd. Maybe I can get to four, but I don't want to get any farther than four because I need to be able to switch it back if I if I need to. All right, turn three, second turn, which is going to be a five and two on both. Actually, it would have been a five and two on both sides if I didn't wall crawl Black Cat. All right, and a bystander, rocket test pilot. What a weird pull. Goes to Fin Fang Foom, who rockets a little too high and uh, lands on the dragon, and I feel bad for him. If I rescue him, I get to hyperspeed. Okay, five recruit on the Greethoth side. So if I take one of the even cards, I might be in trouble. But there is another Mace of Chains here. Throw an artifact and you throw this, you get plus two recruit. I could throw them both at the exact same time. And the cool thing about this is, um, until I throw them, they stay out on the field. And if I don't need recruit at the moment, they're not going to clog my deck. And then Absorb Metal is more likely to work. So... Let's take the second Mace of Chains. If I can go fully Greethoth on this side, that will work to my advantage. But he's only one hero, and I shouldn't bank on that too hard. All right. Icarus himself right into a dragon. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we got Super Moonlight. Or Super... Nope. Super Sunlight. Everything's even except for Absorbed Metal. Again, I don't want to go too far into Sunlight. 
And we'll get another sidekick. Maybe, maybe a ranged one. If I keep getting sidekicks, they'll come up. Nope, it's a covert one, but I got two specials. And I didn't get to talk about this, but um, if anybody feels like sharing, if you think about it, um, of all of the Marvel Studios projects this year, if you were to rank them from your favorite to least favorite, how would you do so? Did we get we got nine projects this year? Um, oh, can I name that off the top of my head? Okay, the movies were No Way Home, Eternals, Shang Chi, Black Widow, and then we had WandaVision, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki, Hawkeye. What if? I think that's it. You can't rate Moon Knight yet. It hasn't. It's not out yet. So if you had to rank them all, or at least your top three, what would they be? We don't even have to talk spoilers, because we just say the names of the shows. Alright, there's Black Cat, because they wall crawled her. Yeah, the pat. Well, you can you can say which ones you're most hyped about. That, that works, too. Okay, another Death Commando. So once again, they're going to capture a human shield. Spider-Man, Shang-Chi, and Hawkeye are my top three. Definitely Spider-Man and Shang-Chi are my top two. I really like Hawkeye, but I really have to think about it if I liked it more than some of the other things. All right, so Human Shield. Once again, same deal. Four Recruit. Spider, Loki, Shang-Chi. Yeah, same thing. I like Loki a lot. That third slot is going to be tough for me to figure out. But I agree with you on the other two for sure. All right, one attack, and then we've got a Pickpocket. Okay, um, I will reveal the top card of the left side's deck. Top card is a trooper, so I get attack equal to that printed printed recruit plus attack. I get one more attack, which is enough for the human shield. Yeah, Loki, I think, was the last Marvel Studios um, Disney Plus show to suffer from delays. But, uh, yeah, some episodes were slower than others, but uh, I think overall, I enjoyed Loki as uh, I can't wait to tune in and see what's happening next in this weird answers are going to be revealed kind of the way. And I like that. All right, I'm going to spend two attack to get this bystander. Oh, hey, look at that. You guys got lucky. Amy's here on the second human shield. <laughs> All right, when you rescue this, it becomes uh, this card becomes a villain with three attack. It enters the city. It gains the ability fight, KO one of your heroes. There she is. You guys lucked out. I wish I had a sound effect for this, but I don't. I, I can just do this. She appears in a poop. Actually, wait. I have, um... I can give... I'm gonna give her fireworks. There. That's the, that's the best I got. WandaVision, I really like the gimmick on that. And what they did. Four recruit is what I have. So I have a couple options. I got Ride the Ants. I have... I need somebody shouting Amy to send to me so I can play that. Uh, size changing tech and then one attack. Draw a card. If I'm planning on seeing more tech, that would be great, especially because Giant Ego is here. We've also got Black Cat, two plus recruit and wall crawl. You get another recruit usable only to recruit the hero in the HQ space under the bank. Having a lot of recruit would be nice in helping me manipulate the HQ, but later on, these cards aren't going to be so useful. But uh, I will actually take casual bank robbery, and I will wall crawl her to the top of my deck. I don't want to take too much Black Cat. All right, there's an odd number, Prince of Power. So we're back to Moonlight, just not a sunlight, but not as strong. And uh, I'm probably going to take the rest of them. Is going to be Ant-Man. I'm probably not going to take any more Black Cat. But I wanted to make sure I have enough recruit to really manipulate things, even though uh, the size changing tech will work too. I'm, I'm going to do my best. I hope I win too. I got lucky with a couple. I got a whiffed Master Strike. I'm set up to avoid the first scheme twist and quickly readjust it. So we'll see. See Excalibur. She did. She can't. She was the second human shield off the cuff. Believe it or not. Okay, there's our four and two uh, again for turn five, I suppose. And Big Bertha is here. Big Bertha has size-changing strength. A lot of size-changing today. Fight. Each player reveals a strength hero or gains a wound. Escape. Same effect. There's plenty of strength heroes. I just have to make sure that I have them. Four recruit. 
on the Greethoth side. Now the danger here is... Actually, no, there's no danger. I can safely take Absorb Metal and not go into Sunlight, but I could get uh, Super... Uh, not go to Moonlight. I could get Super Sunlight, though. Let's play both car all the cards. We will recruit Absorb Metal. I get total of three attack if I get an artifact, which I should be consistently able to do. I'll take that for three, and it is replaced by another odd number. But these are big. These are uh, more expensive cards. I got two attack. Let's take out the death commandos for two. Okay, one of your heroes. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of my shield agents because I do have those two Greethoths, and the death commandos are gone. On the left. I want to see more Karnak show up. I love, uh, I love the way that Karnak's uh, hero set works, based off your victory pile. Also, I would hate to see a setup with Karnak and Ghost Rider in the same <laughs> hero deck. They both work off of uh, your victory pile, but in opposite ways. Okay, turn six, Zutak. Zutak has size changing range, which I do not have, and Instinct, which I might have. Escape, demolish each player. Nine attack, though. So much size changing today. This is this is a lot. From different expansions, even. All right. Okay. Let's do this. I've got... Uh... No problem. I can pop the result up in a second. Okay, two recruit. I get one recruit towards the bank. So let me... I'll use my green die so it looks a little different. I get one recruit towards uh, the bank. Okay. Let's go with uh, two more recruit. Four. Two attack. If I play Throg, I will get f six recruit. But if I play him, I'll have enough size changing to get uh, Giant Ego. But if I do take Giant Ego, I am in danger of going into... Either way, any of these cards I take, I'm in danger of going into Moonlight. So maybe I want to take Prince of Power or Shatter the Weak Point just to be safe. Let me look at those two cards. Shatter the Weak Point. Yeah, oh, Science Engine Tech. Well, yeah, but I get two more recruit, I can get this. Um, yeah, that won't work size changing on him anyway. Wouldn't even matter. Alright, Shatter the Weak Point. When recruited, you get plus 3 attack. So let's say I recruit this. I will go up to 5 attack. And I can hit Big Bertha, who has size changing. So maybe that's a good strategy. His, his card is choose a villain group. You get plus 1 attack for each villain in your victory pile from that group. I have only one Shear Death Commandos over here. The other one's on the other side. So if I can focus fire, he can get pretty strong. Alternatively, I've got Prince of Power Hercules. Another strength card. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero. KO it. KO power with strength and three recruit. That is a good early game card. Uh, but Big Bertha's fight effect. Each player reveals a strength hero or gains a wound. Left side cannot reveal a strength hero, so left side will get a wound if I fight Big Bertha. But I also don't want her to escape because she'll do the same thing. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I get plus one recruit here, so this Ant-Man only costs three to recruit. It doesn't really help me. I'm going to take Prince of Power first. And hopefully, the city will be able to be managed before things got out of control. So I'm going to play Throg for two more recruit. Throg goes away. We're going to replace him by getting a new uh, Strength card. We're going to get Prince of Power for more recruit, for more KO power, and then it's... Very important that I manipulate the HQ still. So let's take Prince of Power for five. Go in strength on the right. And so that means I can't fight anything. But that's all right. I get uh, two more attack thanks to... Uh, what, do, what do I miss? I didn't make six recruit. Oh, I did make six recruit. Yeah, I got two more from Throg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. For some reason, I thought I didn't make the meet the threshold. Well, uh, I can't fight Big Bertha still, but uh, I can fight the copycat and KO something. I did just get a recruit, so I'm going to fight her for three. And size changing only changes by two, so she's a five to hit. So goodbye, Amy. We hardly knew you. And uh, I KO an agent. 
All right. I feel like I'm making decent progress. Luckily, I've had the opportunity to not scramble to try to make the HQ the way I want, so I've had some time to actually recruit stuff. Thank you, Dumpster Fire Board Gaming. They are super useful. I have a ton of them. Check it out. I have the red and uh, white ones. I have more red and white ones because sometimes I get way too much attack. And then I got uh, a green one for miscellaneous. And then thanks to my friend Dre, Dre 2.0 here, I have a special orange one for piercing energy when that comes up. I love these dice. And they're, they're spin down, so they're easy to keep track of stuff with. Thank you for coming by. All right. Turn seven is the first game twist. Okay, so luckily I'm safe. Partially luck, partially I uh, strategized for this. Okay, twist number one, Moonlight. Oh, I didn't show you the, the results, Ollie. I'll do that in a second. Stack this twist next to the scheme as an altered orbit if it's Moonlight. But I'm in Sunlight, so I'm safe. But twist two, I have to get to Moonlight to avoid it. <laughs> it's not the kind of stream, Avernicus. All right, so before I do, let me show you the results from the league for a second. It was uh, off the cuff, Micro Disney and Mr. Giraffe for setup A, and then setup B, Snash, and then Ollie and Kyla, you guys tied with Julian for second place, and then Dre took away the gold for setup B. It had a higher win rate than I thought. It had a 82% win rate, but she also thought it was fun, which, which is good. And so, neat. I'll be posting this later in its entirety with everybody's comments, which again, I encourage you to read. They're all great. Okay, let's try to get one of these. Yeah, let's try to get one of these uh, even cards out of here so I can make it into Moonlight. Which is going to be a tall order, especially because I don't really want those cards over here, but I might have no choice. At least right at the end it says draw a card, so it's not really going to get in my way. Three recruit, let's play Hairball. Uh, one attack, draw a card. Unless I want to hold on to Hairball for the Covert. Nah, it's not going to happen yet. Plus, there's Covert in the deck. I will draw another Agent. Alright. That's four Recruit. That is enough for Ant-Man. I've also got a Shield Trooper for my second attack. And I also have Mace of Chains, which I will play. And then when I throw it, I get two more Recruit. But I don't need to throw it just yet. Let's take a Ride of the Ants, and hopefully we reveal a an odd card. Ride of the Ants has size-changing tech, but I don't have any tech, so I'm going to recruit it for the full four. Hoping to get some Moonlight. We did it with a rare, which is going to be hard to move, but this is a great card to get on this side where I have all these artifacts. Body of Uru has appeared. <clears throat> four plus attack. You get plus attack equal to the total number of artifacts controlled by players and artifacts in the layer. Not great for a setup that only has one artifact hero, but his commons both have both are artifacts. No, um, one of his common is an artifact, and maybe his uncommon is I forget what it is. But um, if I have all his commons, that's plus five attack. That's nine attack for this, which is, uh, yep, that's great. So with all the recruit I got, I'm gonna hold off on Mace to change and throw it at the right time to get seven recruit to get this. So that is a boon. That's great. With my two attack, I can't hit anything. I do lower Zutax attack by two thanks to size changing, but it's only it's still seven and I can't hit him. Coming for you, Fin Fang Foom. Oh, I almost put this away. This is still out in the field. And I got the other one here. So when if I put them together, I can throw them for four recruit. Yeah, looks like I can recruit the rare this turn. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, I'm short one. Not yet. I'll have to wait another turn. Hopefully I can play the artifact before it's demolished. Because then it gets KO'd. Um, it's very likely, you guys, that a rare could get KO'd this turn. Because Body of Uru is not an artifact. So it could be KO'd by Fin Fang Foom. However, it would have to be demolished by another rare that costs 7. Which is l less likely. But it could happen. Alright. Alright, another scheme twist. Thank goodness I was able to get Moonlight. This rare saved me. So that's twist number two. This is going much differently than the last time I played this scheme. Sunlight, same effect. It is not Sunlight. Five, seven, five are odd numbers. It is Moonlight, so I'm safe from that altered orbit. I've successfully passed two. That's great. 
Now I gotta get it back, get it back to sunlight. Let's see if I can. I got four recruit, one attack. If I want to get it back to sunlight, I have to recruit one of these five costs, and I don't have enough recruit. I'm short one. What is wrong, die? So what I'm gonna have to do is pickpocket and get some good luck here. Oh, actually no, she she only turns things into attack, so I can't do it. Um. Well. I hope the next card is not a scheme twist, but let's reveal the top card of the left side's deck anyway. It's a shield agent, so I get uh, one attack. She doesn't give you any recruit. So I could recruit Ride the Ants, but then I could get into a four card Moonlight, which I do not want to get up, get into. I needed to go back to Sunlight, so I will not recruit anything from the HQ. I will instead take a sidekick and end my turn. And it's not a ranged one yet, but I'm still hoping that if I get enough sidekicks, it won't end up with the sunk cost fallacy and I'll actually get a ranged one. Just going to keep taking sidekicks till it works out for me. Wow, we have a ton of viewers. Thank you everybody for being here. This is turning out to be a pretty interesting game. I didn't expect it to... I expected it to be... <laughs> much more devastating, much earlier, but uh, I've been able to manage the HQ okay. For the first two twists, that is. Let's go to the left-hand side. So, I have potentially 2, 4, 6 recruit power this turn, so I could try to uh, throw my artifacts and change it back to sunlight this turn. Unless this is a twist, which it's not. It's just flatman. <laughs> Flat man. Size changing covert fight KO a card from your discard pile. Alright, let's play Mace of Chain. So I have two thrown artifacts. When I throw them, I basically get four recruit total. Two more recruit here. And I've got three attack. So, option A. I press my luck. I wait and I leave these two Mace of Chains out until next turn when I could potentially get the rare. Or I do. Not quite a sure thing even, but uh, I throw I could throw one to get two more recruit. I'll have to throw them both. I have to throw them both to get one of these five costs to give me a chance of getting back to sunlight. If I did that and I took Risky Science, I would need some more tech over here. But if I took Shatter the Weak Point, that might work better with what I'm trying to do. I would get three more attack. That would give me six attack. And with size changing Zootac, it still is seven. So I won't be able to hit him. Unfortunately, but I could hit Flatman. I just wouldn't be able to KO. I would KO a card from my discard pile. Uh, but, oh. Um, actually, the only card on my discard pile would be the Shadow of the Weak Point, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if I did this, I would get the three attack, but I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Once again, that would give me a total of six. Out of reach. Out of reach. If we're doing card order, uh, so let's say I recruited when recruited right now. I recruit it, it goes to my discard pile, and then I get the effect. So I would get plus three attack, and it would be in my discard pile. So then, only then I would be able to fight Flatman, and I would have to KO a card from my discard pile. I could recruit and sacrifice a sidekick to avoid that, and I think I might do that. Oh, I couldn't. I No, yep, one, two, three, four, five... I would have one recruit left. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't have two recruit left. Shoot, this is tough. Um, huh. So what's more important? <laughs> well, I guess I could recruit this, see what comes up, and not fight anything. I think, yeah, I think manipulating the HQ is more important. So let's do that. Let's, let's throw both Mace of Chains to the bottom of the deck. They give me... A total of plus four recruit. Two recruit each. And now I can recruit Shatter the Weak Point. I will recruit Shatter the Weak Point. And when it's recruited, I get plus three attack. There we go. Let's hope an even numbered card comes up. It is not. So I'm still in Moonlight. That is not a good place to be. However, this Hercules Amadeus Cho card is... Somewhat easy to get out of there. So maybe the next turn, uh, next turn can get it. So again, the only thing I can fight is Flatman. Um. 
I wish it added up like that. It doesn't. So again, I can fight Flatman, but I'll have the KO card for my discard pile, which is that uncommon Karnak I just got, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to end my turn here. Got to make some sacrifices. It'll be a couple more turns till I'm able to get that rare when the Thorn Artifacts come back up. But it's only a matter of time. Wow. Um, I only got have two recruit this turn. I just need one more with a card draw to get that other odd out of there. But I might not have a chance. Oh, it's just, just a death, Commandos. You heard nobody say. Um, okay, so human shield. Spending two attack to fight it. All right, let's see if I can get one more recruit. I've got two. And Hairball is going to give me... One attack and one more card draw. Please give me one recruit. Please give me one recruit. Actually, I mean, I could reveal it first with pickpocket, but then um, <laughs> I could have... Did you already play? Did your game already end? I know you like to play the games once I start. Um, I could check what the card is with pickpocket, but it's not like I get to discard it or anything, so it doesn't matter. Um, I will draw a card right here. Cool. I'm glad I got that. I got the recruit I needed. It sounds like it went more like my uh, Mephisto game with <laughs> Crash the Moon into the Sun. Okay. I have enough recruit? Yeah. Well, Black Cat will do that to you. I'm sorry. Two recruit plus one more for the bank, but I'm not taking Body of Uru over here, so I'm not even going to think about it. Four recruit. Let's see. I need to get the odds out. If only I had one more recruit, if... Risky Science was in the bank, but it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, let's look at it. Manly Dullard and Boy Genius. The Manly Dullard side is Strength 3 Attack to play this. You must discard a card from your hand. And then Boy Genius is Tack Draw a card, which will be useful. So I'm going to take this for 3. Give me an even card, please. I got it. Yes. All right. Took a couple of recruits, but it got there. Um, so I am in Sunlight. Look at that. Sunlight... Uh, uh, evens odds. I'm safe for the next twist. Let's play my attack. Two, three. Now I can focus on fighting. We've got pickpocket. I'm going to reveal the top card of the left side. It is absorb metal. It has one printed attack, so I get one printed attack. Or I get one attack. Um, we can take out the human shield and the henchman and KO a support card. Or I could fight Flatman. Flatman has size changing covert which means he's only three attack to fight but again the same problem i only have a hero in my discard pile so i'm not going to do that i'm going to fight the uh, henchman instead spend two attack to fight the human shield which turns out to be a standard by a standard that is rescued and then the second is going to take out the shiar death commandos okay one of my heroes another agent goes away i don't want to get rid of too many but i got rid of that one and Death Commandos, goodbye. Okay. What did I get? I got three recruit, four, five, six, seven. Let me uncover a rare for this side. Okay. Things are going, dare I say, okay. We have... Mr. Immortal appearing. Fight. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or bystander, Mr. Immortal re-enters the sewers. Gotta be careful there. I love that card mechanic, though. Um, okay, let's play Ride the Ants, which is just one attack and a card draw. I've already revealed what it is, and it's Absorbed Metal, which I will take. I play it. If I control an artifact, I get plus two, but I had to throw them, so I do not control an artifact. And then I've got uh, a Shield Trooper, which is my third attack. And I have four recruit. I do not want to mess up my sunlight. So the only thing I would recruit is a moonlight. I do get size changing with risky science if I want it. As far as attacking, uh, I can fight Flatman safely this turn. Because with size changing covert. So let's do that. Flatman gets minus two attack because I played a covert card. He's three attack. His fight effect is fight KO a card from your discard pile. This time I have plenty of KO fodder. Let's... I'm going to get that rare. I think I still have plenty of troopers. I'm going to get rid of one. I can just hold on to those artifacts until I need to throw them. Hopefully. All right. Flatman is gone. 
I have four recruit left. I would love to take Find Fatal Flop, but I'm not going to. Instead, I might take Risky Science for three, thanks to Science Changing Tech. Microscopic Science Changing, I could have kept going. You can go to negative points and get recruit back, but uh, I don't need it right now. I spend three attack, three recruit to take Risky Science to discard and draw more cards with tech. Not a lot of tech over here, but... Uh, all right, another Shadow of the Weak point. All right, there's our maze to change. So that's five recruit right there. I just need uh, two of these next cards to be shield agents, and I can recruit the rare. Maybe, hopefully, KOing that one didn't mess me up. Here we go. Four. Nope. Five. Nope. Six. Yep, that's it. Yep, two, four, five, six, seven. Yep, looks like I'm getting the rare... Body of Uru next turn. Wonderful. Okay, that's seven recruit over here as well. And we have Scheme Twist. Okay, and good timing too. I have a lot of recruit. So this is twist number three. If it was Moonlight, I'd get an Altered Orbit, but as you can see, it is Sunlight, so I, I'm safe from this one. I've avoided all three of the, all three of the beginning twists. Now, I need to make it Moonlight again. So let's play my four recruit. And let's recruit something. Let's play Prince of Power as well. I'll, I don't activate it, so I just get three more recruit him at seven. Is that your track record? <laughs> the secret is to go like what you do on the test. To answer C for everything. I, n I never know when these games are going to go. I probably would have predicted lose as well. And I still could lose. This, these twists can come fast and furious. Okay, which one do I want? Giant Ego has size changing tech. Uh, one attack for each extra card I drew this turn. Hey, a YouTube sub, thank you. Every time, that's... I'm sorry for that bad luck, but uh, not when I win, because I enjoy winning. Choose a villain group, get one recruit for each villain in your victory pile from that group. I mean, I have plenty of recruit, but I also have plenty of villains in my victory pile. The plan is to take more tech over here, even though I have a couple on the other side. So maybe I will go with Giant Ego. It's going to be hard to get this out. There's Ollie with the fun facts. First appearance of Fin Fang Foom and Greethoth. Second appearance of The Scheme, Karnak, Ant-Man, and Hercules. Third appearance of Black Cat. I had a feeling Greethoth hadn't shown up yet, but I thought Fin Fang Foom did, so I'm glad it's new. All right. So let's take this for just six recruit. Hopefully I can draw, get more Ant-Man cards over here. And also, hopefully, I get an odd-numbered card. I don't, so I'm not safe. Not safe. I'm going to have to fix that. Now, here's the downside. I want to recruit the rare next turn, but you see the problem. I have a choice. Either I recruit Body of Uru, or I try to get the HQ back to Moonlight to avoid the twist. Which choice will I make? Don't know. Three, four, five, six. Not a lot of recruit over here either, so. <laughs> Agreed. Maybe. Maybe a twist will come up right now and it will make my decision for me. You know, that would be the lazy way to do it. Let's see. That's exactly what happened. Okay. My first twist failure. But at least that means I can take the rare no problem. Okay, that was twist number four. And I do have sunlight, so I get my first altered orbit. Only three more. Um, now, um, yes. Now I am no longer safe from playing... Wait, why is it negative one? Oh, I know why, because I didn't adjust the counter. All right. I am now no longer safe from all the twists. I will lose on twist 11 no matter what. So now I have to hurry this up all of a sudden. Okay, let's play both Mesa Chains for four recruit total when I throw them. Not yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Three more recruit. Now I want it to be Sunlight. Because uh, the next twist will be twist number five. So I can safely recruit the rare. So let's throw both Mesa Chains. Let's look at it one more time. It reads, when you throw this, you get plus two recruit. When Absorbing Man seized the mace, he was reborn as Greeth Hoth, Body and Soul. I'm actually reading this part of Fear Itself right now. This is where I'm at in my reading order, so it's fun to play these right now. 
I throw them both to the bottom of my deck. I'm at 7 recruit, and I can take Body of Uru. And we already looked at it. Uh, forward plus attack, plus attack equal to the number of artifacts controlled by players and artifacts in the HQ. Wonderful. Alright, we are now in Super Sunlight, which I want to be careful with. I don't want to make it too hard to switch back. Alright. Next, we have another Death Commandos. We know what they do. They go in there. They get a Human Shield. You know the drill. Okay. Three Recruit. This is not a great hand, though. I can't even recruit anything, so I might be in trouble for the next, twi for the next twist. Not the next twist. Next, next twist. Three Recruit. Two Attack. Enough for a Human Shield. And we will try uh, pickpocketing the left-hand side again. It is uh, one attack. Maybe I should try my own side. I have a two recruit card in there. Next time. Okay. Um, I could either fight Mr. Immortal, who could come back. Or I could fight... Uh, I can get the human shield. Let's get the human shield. Top card is uh, fight the human shield. And it turns out to be a standard bystander. We have three recruit. Nothing to take from here, not even if I wanted. So, sidekick. Give me that range sidekick. Nope, it's Red Wing. They're going to be at the bottom of the deck. I'm never going to see them this game. Now, um, I think the answer is yes. But because size changing works off of card reveals, and I feel like I've talked about this before. Size changing says you have to reveal a card. Any artifact I have out counts towards size changing. Which is nice. It's, it's uh, As long as it's out, it's kind of a permanent... Uh, is a card played? Okay. Then what am I thinking of? I'm, th I'm thinking of Cosmic Threat. One of them works that way. I just want to be sure. Alright. Oh, size changing is... If you played. Okay. So only the turn I played. Is it Cosmic Threat that I'm thinking about? With cards that you have? I mix those two up in a lot of ways, but at least I have the <laughs> wherewithal to check. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, thank you. So, never mind. Villain deck card on the left-hand side is... Goom, filling up the city. Ambush, Goom captures a bystander. Fight KO one of your heroes. All right, he gets the Bulldozer Driver, which can move villains around in the city. Escapes escapes could hurt me a little bit, but they could also help me, depending on what the HQ looks like. I could end up manipulating the HQ when I need to. But, let's see. Uh, looking at uh, Karnak, he gets plus one attack for each card of the same villain group that I have. Um, I, I only have one Great Lakes Avengers and one uh, Henchman. So I could fight the other Death Commandos, and then I get plus two from this. I get basically get one point discount. But uh, let's draw a card. Let's play Ride the Ants. One attack, draw a card. And it is Absorb Metal. I do not control an artifact, unfortunately. I will play Risky Science. Two more attack. You may discard a card. Tech, if you do draw a card. I'm not doing any recruiting today significantly. So I've this turn, I, I could get a sidekick. But I will discard um, an agent to draw a trooper. All right, I did that swap. I'll play Absorb Metal for one attack. I will play my two troopers for six total attack. So here's what I could do. I could fight the Death Commandos. I go down to four attack. And then back up to six. After I play Karnak. And then... I could fight Goom and get the Bulldozer Driver. Or I could fight Big Bertha with size changing. But her effect is... Let me just look. Each player reveals a strength hero or gains a wound. Does the right side have a strength hero? Yeah. This would be a great time to do that. So yeah, I got strength on the right. So let's um avoid the escape. Let's refer to that bad stuff by doing it in that order. So first we're going to fight the Shear Death Commandos. We know what they do. Uh, KO one of your heroes. I will KO my shield agent. Which I didn't even play, but that's okay. Uh, take them out for two. Now I have two Shear Death Commandos in my victory pile. There they are. So when I play Karnak and I choose Shi'ar Death Commandos as my villain group, which henchman groups work, 
You get plus one for each one. So back up to six. And Big Bertha. Is it five attack? Thanks to minus two from size changing strength. Fight effect. Each player reveals a tech or a strength hero or gains a wound. Karnak. Giant Eagle Ant-Man. I'm safe. She's gone for four. No, for three. For three. So I'm down to three. Right? Yeah, she was a uh, minus two. She was five. Mm -hmm. Nope. Hold on. She was five, I was at six, so I'm down to uh, one. I forgot to subtract the three. All right. Um, can't even fight Mr. Immortal now, but that's okay. I took out a couple of things. Let's get that rare out here. Am, am I at five? I forget what I was at. Oh, no, I was, I was right. Yeah. She went down to five, and I hit her for five, so I have one left out of six. Okay. Here we go. Let me draw that rare. I want to see more artifacts, though. I would like to get to power that rare up. In order to hit Fen Fang Foom, though, I'm going to have to have uh, Grief Hot's Uncommon, I think. Two more. Five, six. There it is. Sweet. She cost five. Yeah. Mr. Mortal is a huge pain. Okay, moving over. Here we go. Turn 16. I have some decent attack if I want it. We have... Shi'ar Death Commandos. Yeah, Squirrel Girl can fortify stuff, so I hope she doesn't come up anytime soon. So once again, another human shield. I don't know who it is. I have to start diversifying colors. There's only so much I can do. Okay. So, um, here's what I could do. I could play Boy Genius to draw a card. Giant Ego, which give me three attack for drawing card. That's one, two, three, four. I have four attack. Or, I could play Manly Dullard. I have to discard a card from my hand to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six attack. Six attack is better than four, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's play the Manly Dullard side of my divided card. To play this, you must discard a card from your hand. I'm going to get five recruit, but I don't need five because I don't want to take the, the odd one. So let's discard a shield agent. Thank you, Mr. Giraffe. Okay. Yes, I discarded. I get the three attack. Followed by... Giant Ego, I'm not drawing any cards, so I just get two attack. And uh, Prince of Power does activate. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero. KO it. It does, so I have no choice. Goodbye, Trooper. And a sixth attack from my Trooper, and a fourth recruit from my Agent. Let's, uh... Let's take out Goom. He is doing the dance. I think he's doing like a... He's pulling something. He's hauling something. Alright, let's fight Goom for six. Alright, fight KO one of your heroes. I'm going to KO... Yeah, I have Prince of Power here. I'm going to KO another agent. And get out of here. And I got the Bulldozer Driver. I got to be careful how many monsters unleashed are in the city because Fin Fang Foom can do stuff. When you rescue this bystander, you may move a villain to an adjacent space. If another villain's there, swap them. I'm going to swap Mr. Immortal and Zutak because he has a pretty nasty escape effect. And it's a bystander for me. So let's figure out if I want to take Crowd Favorite, Find Fatal Flaw, or Ride the Ants. I have more tech on the left side now, but I do have Giant Ego here. Whenever you defeat a villain this turn, rescue a bystander. I do want to diversify. I do want to get some recruit over here. I've also got Find Fatal Flaw, who gives me one recruit for every villain I have from the same group in my victory pile. And I have um, two Death Commandos over here. Hmm. So the most useful thing practically is going to be Ride the Ants, I think. But I also, I do want to take some Instinct. For some size changing here and for some size changing with Fin Fang Foom. 
If I recruit this, I get plus two attack. I can get the human shield. That's good enough for me. Um, I will take Fine Fatal Flaw for four when recruited. You get plus two attack. Um, instead of Mr. Immortal, let's fight the human shield for, for two. It is a uh, standard by stand. Oh, I forgot to do the blow up. Here we go. Boom. Safe. Hercules has a bystander mechanic somewhere, right? I don't think he has a ramp, though. I can't recall. I'm glad I have not seen more Black Cat. If I had seen more Black Cat, and I'm sure some of you guys will, um, your game probably won't go as well. So, with luck, I can get Fin Fang Foom down to 15. Or 16. Because I don't have any ranged yet. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. If I draw on this next turn, this will be a turn when Fin Fang Foom is 16 if I get a tech. But I'm not going to get that much of attack. Not too much luck. Thank you. I will take all the luck you are willing to give me after you predicted I was going to lose. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. We've got some artifacts, which I'm happy to see. Turn 17 gives us another by the second bystander in the stack goes to the Shi'ar Death Commandos who decided to put the human shield behind them. Not so much a shield this time. I'll play both Mace of Chains. Again, when I throw this, I get uh, two recruit per. I'll play Body of Uru since those are the only artifacts I have. Four attack. I get equal attack to the total number of artifacts controlled by all players and in the HQ, which is two. So I get two more attack. I'm at six. These two troopers put me up to eight attack. I don't have the four recruit yet. Yeah, so if I throw them, I can get that. And I do have a full deck, so I may not want to do that. I have one recruit. So just to be just to just to see, I only get minus two for Fin Fang Foom, so he's at 20 attack, which I'm nowhere near. But with size changing instincts, I can fight Zutak, which I think I do want to do because getting the monsters unleashed is good when strikes are gonna show up. So let's size change him down from 9 to 7 with the instinct that I have played this turn. And that's it. It is gone for 7. And I'm left with nothing else I can do. But at least when a Master Strike happens, I won't have to demolish more than I have to. Get those monsters out of there. And uh, I will not leave these guys unthrown, by the way. Because I have the HQ how I want it. Meant to mention. Okay. Turn 18. Scheme twist. Speaking of which. Okay, that is twist number 5. If I had moonlight, I would get an altered orbit. But I am in uh, almost super sunlight. So, I'm safe. But I now I have to get it back to moonlight. Because sunlight will hurt. This time. But I don't want to spend too much time on that because I can't... I'm not safe from them all anymore. So let's see if I can get a tech. And then let's see if I can get 16 attack. I don't think I'm going to, though. Let's start with Red Wing. Top three cards of my deck are these. Ooh, all gray. That's really neat. Love gray. So how much... Uh, what do I want to take? So I'm going to get two recruit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As far as attack... I've got two. Um, I'll take the agent because I don't know if I'm going to get any more recruit. I'll take the agent. We'll put the two cards back with the agent on top. And now we will go with... Uh, what? What do I want to go with? I drew one extra card. I'm not going to draw any more cards. There's no other way to draw cards. So... I might want to just play all Giant Ego right now. Alright, I'll play Giant Ego now. Three attack. Total. I've got... Uh, I can play Prince of Power now. I can KO the, the agent I put on top. Three recruit. Top card of my deck is the agent. So I will KO it. Um, I've got two recruit from the shield agents. I've got casual bank robbery. Two more recruit plus one recruit for Hercules here. 
So let me just uh, give him a little one so I know he's a little one more cheaper. Or I get, he's not cheaper, I just have one towards him. And uh, Fine Fatal Flaw. Which group do I pick? Probably the uh, Henchman. I've got two, so let me fight the other one first. So for three attack, I will fight the Death Commandos. For two, take them out. Wait, yeah, before I play this. Because, uh, again, uh, KO one of your heroes is their effect. So I will KO another shield agent. And I will... This is one. Whatever. All right. And uh, they are gone as well. So now I have three of the henchmen. I get the bystander rescued. I have three of the henchmen. So when I play Karnak, I get plus three recruit for each one. I'm up to ten recruit. Okay. So let's put this back into uh, Moonlight. What do I want to take? Let me look at Brilliant Strategist. Brilliant Strategist has one recruiter to get plus one attack and then one attack. Covert when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. Draw an extra card. That works great with Ant-Man and Giant Ego. So if I want to lean in that way, I should take this. I'm going Artifacts on the left. And I do have Covert. But that's the end of the turn. Um, hmm. Yeah, if I do recruit this, I get plus one. So this won't work with Ant-Man because it's one attack for each extra card you drew this turn. And Brilliant Strategist draws cards at the end of the turn. So those don't really mesh. But yeah, that would let me hit Mr. Immortal. Um, I could get This is cheaper. I could get Bystander stuff. You know what? I should, though, probably recruit the cheapest thing so that uh, if something expensive comes up, I can still probably take it. So let's go with that. So then I minus one attack this turn. Did I miss something? Let's see. Let's see. One, two. For Ant-Man's card. No, I didn't. I didn't gain it. I specifically didn't. Oh, no, I did. For Red Wing, I did. So I got uh, one extra for three. Yeah, I was at three thanks to Red Wing. So that was correct. Now I will add Brilliant Strategist. Uh, I will recruit it for two. No worries. That would, be, would have been correct. So I get one attack for one recruiting. And now I can... Oh, I go down to eight. I forget about the, the sidekicks I play all the time. Risky Science appears. Let's take a shot at hitting Mr. Immortal for two. Declare the attack. The really top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or bystander, which it is, Mr. Immortal re-enters the sewers. So I hit him, but uh, it's not enough. And there he is, back in the sewers. It was worth a shot. Okay, but this is an odd card, so all I gotta do is get one more... I get, get one more out of here. And replace it with an odd. I'm going to take Ride the Ants. i got to lean into the tech stuff. I don't have enough tech. So Ride the Ants I'm going to take for four. Because I do not, do not have a tech. So I'm down to four. It's an even. i got one more shot. I'm going to take the cheap crowd favorite. For three. Doesn't really matter. Recruit it for three. And I did it. And with a rare. So I'm in Moonlight again. I love Karnak's rare. Karnak's rare is Seek the Center. One recruiter to get plus four attack. And then whenever you play a card this turn, including this one, you may use that card's one recruited ability. Definitely on the right where I have more Karnak is where I want to take this. It's better with more Inhumans, but uh, what are you going to do? So we have more monsters on Leech entering. I have to figure out a way to ramp up a lot of attack, because I don't really have that yet. Actually, more Greethoth would do it, but uh, I haven't seen him. Not enough, anyway. Okay, so that Monsters Unleashed is going to enter. Groot from Planet X. Size changing. Atta uh, strength and Covert. Fight two Biostanders from the Biostander stack into the city as three attack. Splintered half group villains. When you fight one, rescue it as a bystander. I do like that mechanic. It's a little harder to hit. To defeat. So, I will absorb metal for the first time it's going to work. If I control an artifact, I get plus two. So, three attack. 
I'll ride the ants for one more attack. I will draw a card. It is going to be Shadow of the Weak Point, which I will play. I choose a villain group. You get plus one attack for each villain in your victory pile. So I've got monsters, Great Lakes, henchmen, Great Lakes, henchmen. So either Great Lakes or henchmen. If I can get Mr. Immortal, that would be three. I'm cheering for a draw, so I got my prediction. Remember, going monocolor lets you activate powers easily. <laughs> yes. One thing you want to know when fighting Fin Fang Foom, one color it is. <laughs> Thank you for coming by thinking about games. Um, so I get plus two attack. Unless I don't have size changing. I do have size changing covert. So I can I can hit Groot right now. But if I and then when I play Karnak, I will get um, just still two attack. If I Fight Mr. Immortal, and I sexually de sexually defeat him. I'll get plus three back, and I'll go up to five, which is enough to hit Groot. But he will have to be defeated, and I, that is not a guarantee. So let's let's do the sure thing and fight Groot. Let's play Shadow of the Weak Point. Oh no, we can fight Groot right now. Before we play Shadow of the Weak Point, because we have size staging covert, and he's going to put bystanders in anyway. So I take him out for six, for four actually. Oh wait, if I play Shadow of the Reek Point, he'll go down twice. So hold on. He can go down to two, right? If I play Karnak as well, he's only two to hit. Yeah, because those you can do multiples. Just like Fin Fang Foom. So never mind. I won't hit him yet. Just kidding. He's here. Again, Cosmic Threat and Size Changing get jumbled up in my head a lot. But that's how it works. So let me play Karnak right now. I've got uh, I've got four attack. Well, let's play this out. I fight Mr. Immortal. I fail. I'm at two attack. I can still fight Groot because he's only at two. So let's let's take a shot. Let's try to hit Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal has two attack. Top card of the villain deck is a Master Strike. So I lucked out in the sense that he doesn't come back. So, goodbye, Mr. Immortal. And that's the best possible scenario because now when I play Shadow the Weak Point, I choose Great Lakes Avengers. And I've got three Great Lakes Avengers in my victory pile. So I get plus three attack. I'm up to five. And now Groot from Planet X, size changing. For each class you have, he gets minus two. So he's down to two attack. So I'm going to hit him for two. When I do, I can take out one of the bystanders. Two bystanders in the bystander stack. Enter the city has three attacks, splintered half Groot villains. First one, second one. Animal trainer, alligator trapper. When you fight one, rescue it as a bystander. Groot is gone for two. Love the combo. Now, which one do I want to fight? Animal trainer. Uh, each instinct and covert costs one less this turn. I'm going to have four recruit. That won't really help me. And the alligator trapper is patrol the sewers. If you do, it's empty. Get plus two recruit. Then I'll have a total of six recruit. And what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get it back to... Um, in twist six, I don't want sunlight. So I want moonlight. So I want to keep it here. So I this might help me get a sidekick. So let's, let's fight and rescue the alligator trapper. I'll fight it for three. And it's a bystander now. Patrol the sewers. It's empty. I get two recruit. Okay. Let's give ourselves a little three counter on the animal trainer Groot villain, just to remember. There we go. And at least the Master Strike won't make me uh, have to do anything else besides the one demolish. Four rec more recruit gives me six recruit. Just again to be 100%. Next twist is six. Sunlight gives me an altered orbit. I am in moonlight right now. I want to stay in moonlight. So, Risky Science has microscopic size changing. But I don't want to take an odd out because then I'll lose Moonlight maybe. I don't really want Crowd Favorite over here. I don't really want Bank Robbery over here. I don't really want any of those. I know the next card's not a twist, so I could take a chance. Um, I've got uh, how much recruit on the right hand side? Ooh, nothing. I have a bunch of attacks, so I don't really want to mess up the HQ too much. 
You know what? Um, since these are artifacts, I will take a crowd favorite just so I have a better chance of uh, getting that size changing with Fin Fang Foom. So here we go. Uh, four recruit for crowd favorite. Okay, this was an even card. So I'm glad I didn't get an odd. Two recruit left gets me a sidekick. Please give me a ranged. Please, please, please. Nope, it's a standard. So, no such luck. I feel like I see those guys a lot. Ooh, I could throw the Mace of Chains now. Um, do I want to do that? Here's my deck. I have three cards. I'm going to draw it next turn. So I could throw the Mace of Chains to get Giant Ego. Because I do have more card draws over here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's throw my two Mace of Chains for four recruit before I end my turn. And with size changing strength, we will take the other giant ego. Ant-Man with size changing tech. And here we go. Okay. There we go. Break the will to resist. Covert each player discards the bottom card of their deck for each non gray card discarded. That's way they get plus one attack. Uh, that's not so great because, you know, each player is just two players, so that's a max of five attack. Too bad he doesn't have another artifact. And we're in super moonlight right now, so I must be careful. I think this side is turning into uh, play your artifacts, then draw cards with Ant Man and uh, build up attack. But with. Break the will to resist and the rare. I could get enough attack to hit the mastermind. But I need that range to give me that minus two attack. The problem is, I'll have to play it. And when I play the sidekick, it'll be gone. I could try to get an officer and try to get yo-yo, but that is even less likely. I don't think that's going to happen. All right, well, we know what's coming next. <laughs> Master Strike time. Demolish each player. Top card of the hero deck is a four-cost card. This side is safe. I would have to uh, do it again for each monsters unleashed in the city and escape pile. Luckily, there aren't any. And KO all the heroes demolished this way. So this side is safe. The left side, however... Oh, left side is safe too. Lucky. No side has a four-cost card. I think due to the size-changing aspect of this, I'm safe. It is worth it, but I have the entire um, the entire officer stat to go through, and I don't think she's going to come up. I mean, it's a not very good odds she'll come up. But yeah, if I did get her on my <laughs> in my hero deck, it would be amazing. Don't get me wrong. All right. Chill Troopers, three attack. Let's pickpocket. Let's pickpocket my own. Actually, no, I don't have a deck. I don't want to. I want to shuffle these in. Recruit <laughs> all the chill agents. Let's uh. Pickpocket the left-hand side again. It is a sidekick, so zip. I get nothing. No symbols on this at all. Fun. Nice. Thanks, Black Cat. Um, I mean, all I can do right now is uh, fight the Animal Trainer. I'm not going to get anywhere near hitting the Mastermind, so let's do it. Let's spend our three attack. Take out the Animal Trainer Groot Sapling. Everything that's inst uh, covert and instinct is cheaper by one. Would help me get the rare, but uh, I don't think I'm going to have that much. Anyway. So rescued, fought. And let's play the Amadeus Cho side that says draw a card. Since I can't fight anything else. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because, again, I want to shuffle this all in. Wow, I have so many of my great cards are gone. So I won't even play this. I won't even play anything. And I'll just end my turn right there. What a what a weird way to end it. I've KO'd a lot of greys. See if that works out for me. I need a ranged. I need to get all the sidekicks. The left side is the one that needs to KO more stuff. Before I draw a villain card, let's make sure. Yep, I'm in super moonlight. 
And there's a twist. That twist is twist number six. If it was sunlight, I'd get an altered orbit, but I am safe. So five more twists in the deck. I can't survive them all because I already failed one. But I can survive a little bit more. All I got to do is get it back to sunlight. More Mesa Chains. That's four recruit when I throw them. I'm just getting it ready. Um, two attack. Two more attack. That's four attack. One more recruit. So I got one recruit. I'm going to throw both of these to the bottom of the deck. To get five recruit. Try to get more sunlight. And I want to take break the will to resist. To... um discard some cards and get some attack. Most of them should be non-gray as I've done a lot of KO. So this could almost pretty consistently be a five attack card, which could help me win. And yeah, okay, I'll take it for five. Another divided. Um, oh, and it's odd too. So I'm still in moonlight. I think I'm going to fail this one. I'm in too deep with the moonlight. You better play it. Well, it depends. That's kind of the point, right? So you can guarantee you get the attack if you throw the artifact first. Um, so if you need the attack, you can throw the artifact first. You're guaranteed it's not a gray, and then you can uh, get the attack. But yeah, if I, if I don't want it to be discarded, then I want to do that. Uh, okay, here we go. Turn 22 is a Master Strike. Let's get demolished one more time. Two cost. No two cost here. This goes to the bottom. Left hand side. Wow. Oh. I KO a sidekick. That's really sad. Goodbye, sidekick. It gets discarded and then KO'd. We hardly knew you. Of course, you know, that's better than a <laughs> than anything else almost. All right, so state of the mastermind. He's at 24 attack. With the cards I have right now, I can get him down to 20. Can I get 20 attack? I can get 2, 5, 6. I, something's got to give if I'm going to try to do this. All right, uh, I'll play Giant Ego right now just as a prerequisite. We'll play um, Prince of Power. 3 recruit. If you're the top card of your deck. Cost zero, KO it. It costs zero, I KO it. And uh, I'm going to have to recruit some more powerful stuff. Two more shield agents. Gives me five recruit. I'll play the Amadeus Cho draw card side to draw a card. I get Brilliant Strategist. I'll play Brilliant Strategist. One attack. I do not trigger the, the effect. And uh, the trooper gives me four total attack. All right, with five recruit, I can take Shadow of the Weak Point. Choose a villain group. I get attack for that. Let's see. I've got uh, one death commando. Two, three. I'm not doing a great job at uh, focus firing those. I have like three on each side. I'm close to getting Karnak's rare though, so if I do get the rare and I play Shadow of the Weak Point, I get three attack when I play it, and then more, which would be great. So I think at this point I gotta focus on getting Karnak over here with the attack, and then getting the rare. So I'm still gonna go for that. I will recruit Karnak for five. I get three attack when I recruit him, even though it's not going to go anywhere. And all I got to do is get seven recruit, which is possible. I have enough recruit to do it. Or uh, do it with uh, recruit him when I got uh, casual bank robbery. Sigma Toast. Hey, thanks for the follow. Or I can get more Hercules Bystander stuff, but I don't know. All right. That was an odd, by the way, so I'm still in Super Moonlight. I'm getting the feeling I'm not going to be able to avoid this twist, and all I have is five cards. Okay. Oh, it's just a Death Commando. We've got a uh, Secret Human Shield, which I can fight right now. Let's fight the Human Shield. Our favorite pastime, fighting human shields. It is... Oh, hey, it was a bystander, so you're safe. Left-hand side. Only I had some kind of bystander mechanic because I have so many. Okay, three recruit. 
Should we recruit one of these over here? I think we should. I really don't want to deal with pickpocket. So I'm going to take the divided card on the left to maybe help with uh, Fin Fang Foom. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take uh, Manly Dullard Boy Genius for three. And uh, in its place, we've got another black cat. At least it's even. So I'm one away from putting us back into sunlight, which I'll be able to do. I'll be able to do next turn if I have that opportunity. Here we go. I got body of. This is my next turn. I got four attack. No artifacts though. Like five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got some good attack this turn. If only I had artifacts out. Let's see. Ah, couldn't do it. That's my second failure. I got two I got two cards out of there, but I'm still in Moonlight, unfortunately. I got close. That is twist number seven. One other altered orbit. So two more and I lose. Whoops, I just went down again. Okay, so twist number eight is the last one that I can try to avoid. So I will lose on twist number ten, no matter what. I might lose on twist nine if I fail twist eight, so I gotta hurry this up. Yep, that's that's not a that's not a good place to be. Let's find fatal flaw. Choose a villain group. I get plus one recruit for each one, and I think the it's still the henchman, even though I don't have a couple. Yeah, I have three death commandos. More if I fight him now. But uh, I want to recruit the rare. So I'm going to get three recruit right now. So before I play this, let's actually draw a card. See what I get. All right, ride the ants, one attack, draw a card. Give me something good, please. Give me some more card draws. Okay, shuffling. We've got Shadow of the Weak Point. It's interesting. So let's say I play that now. That's three attack. I'm at four, five, six, seven. Maybe more than seven. And Fin Fang Foom is minus. He's 22, 20, 18, 16. I don't think I can get there. Well, yeah, if I hit the henchman first, I'll lose two attack, but I'll gain one attack. But then I'll KO the trooper. Unless I want to KO somebody that's not the trooper. Oh, I got casual bank robbery, though. Hmm, okay. Well, um... Let's play casual bank robbery. Right now. So, two recruit. Plus one for the bank. I don't think there's any way I can hit the mastermind. And then, yeah, if I, I can, um, yeah, if I hit the Death Commandos and then I play Find Fatal Flaw, I can recruit the rare this turn. So let's do that. Let's get, uh, let's pick, let's, uh, let's pickpocket because I'm going to have to KO. No, let's play the Trooper because we're going to KO it. All right, I play the Trooper. Unless I want to KO the bank. No, I'm going to KO the bank robbery. I don't need to do that anymore. Let's play pickpocket. Pickpocket, top card of my own deck is... Giant Ego, so I get plus two attack. Neat. And let's take out... I don't know how many turns are left. I can let you know how many cards are in the villain deck in a second. Um, here we go. Let's fight for two. Uh, KO on my heroes. I'm going to get rid of Bank Robbery. I need to focus on attack right now. All right, Bank Robbery is gone. And the Death Commandos are gone. Now I have four Death Commandos in my victory pile. One, two, three, four. Which means when I play um, Find Fatal Flaw, I get uh, one recruit for each villain in that group. So that's four. So I'm up to six to recruit. And that is enough to recruit Karnak at a discount thanks to Black Cat. When recruited, I get plus four attack. I'm up to five attack. And then I get to activate when I play this card. Uh, I get to use the one recruit abilities when I play them. Which in a small enough deck with plenty of Karnak, that's great. Okay, uh, 
So, in order to hit Fin Fang Foom once again, I got Tech, Instinct, Covert, Strength. I get, get 16 attack. I can get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if I get lucky with Pickpocket, I can get four more, but I don't think any card has four that I'm going to reveal. Body of Uru is in my hand for the left-hand side. So, I mean, we'll take a shot. We'll try my own deck. Actually, I know what that is. That's Ant-Man. It's going to be plus two. That'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If only I had arranged. So let's try the left-hand side. See what I get. Uh, same thing. It's a crowd favorite. Oh, did I already play this pickpocket? I thought I took it. No, I didn't take it back. No, I totally did play it. Sorry, I forgot where it was. Okay, rewind. I got plus two attack for that one, two, three. And then I already played... Um... Okay, now I'm confused. Where did I get the extra attack? What if I played this turn? Oh, I recruited Karnak and I got plus four attack. That's right. So now I'm at five after that. I haven't played these yet. Let's keep going just, just to see. One more attack from the trooper. Six. Shatter the weak point gives me up to 10 attack. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to hit anything. Uh, crowd favorite up to 12. I'm still short a few from hitting Fin Fang Foom. So that's that. Maybe I should have played crowd favorite earlier to get the bias standard, but I didn't. I'm close, though. I'm getting close. Let me count the villain deck for you since you asked. I don't think I'm going to get all the way down the villain deck because, you know, I'll lose when twists come up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. I'll only get that far or close to that if this twist, if a couple twists are way at the bottom and I do okay. But twist 8, I'll be safe from right now. Because it's not sunlight. Is this twist eight? It's not. It's Tim Booba who's going to make the dom uh, demolishes worse. Size changing all colors. Fight all heroes currently in, a in the HQ cost one less this turn. So let's go. Let's draw some cards. Uh, first, ride the ants. One attack. Draw a card. Crowd favorite. If only I had an artifact. I can't draw any more cards. Shoot. Okay. Let's play. Yeah, there's no way for me to draw any more cards. We're going to play Body of Uru. No artifacts anywhere. So I just get the four attack. Absorb Metal gives me just one. Up to six attack. Giant Ego. Gives me two attack. Plus one for the card I drew with Ride the Ant. So I'm at nine attack. Crowd Favorite gives me two more attack. I'm at 11. And uh, Shatter the Weak Point. Let me check my, my villains. I've got uh, one, two, two monsters unleashed. I have one, two, three Great Lakes Avengers, and I have three commandos. Or two commandos. So, Great Lakes, uh, get maximum three with Great Lakes Avengers. So, I'm up to 14. And Fin Fang Foom, by the way. 24, 22, 20, 18, 16. I am two away from hitting him, unfortunately. That would have been nice. But I could hit Tim Booba for... <laughs> for what? 10, 8, 6, 2, uh, 4. I can hit him for 4. Yep. I got 4 classes. If only I had range, yeah, but uh, no range in this setup. Uh, he's out of here for 4 attack. All heroes in the HQ currently cost 1 less this turn. And, uh, I have one recruit. Black Cat is free at the point of service. But, um, and, uh, Risky Science is going to be two to recruit. Yeah, but I don't want that card. So, even though it's free, I'm not going to take it. Because I, do, I don't have look at the top card of a deck somewhere, so I don't know what that's going to be. And I could end up with Karnak here. 
Ugh. And I still have plenty of gray, so I'm not going to take Black Cat. I'm just going to end my turn. Yep. There's my artifacts. I got to leave these guys out next turn. And then maybe I can hit the Mastermind. And then I can get the Rocket Test Pilot. Are any of the X-Men special bystanders ranged? I think magic is. So why couldn't any of those human shields have been magic? I mean, Peter got into trouble when he didn't deny that, you know. It's the whole thing. All right, what do we got? Let's see if it's a twist. Nope, it's there she is. Squirrel Girl. You can't fight Squirrel Girl if you played more than one card this turn. Escape Fortify the Sidekick stack. While it's fortified, Sidekicks can't be recruited or gained. This would be great to fight in the left-hand side to increase that uh, Great Lakes Avengers counter. So maybe I'll leave her alone this turn if I can. All right. Giant Ego for two attack. Prince of Power for three recruit. Reveal the top card of my deck. It does not cost zero, so I don't KO it. Brilliant Strategist for one attack, no effect. Shield Trooper for one more attack. Two Shield Agents, I'm at five recruit. So, I don't want to fight Squirrel Girl here. I want to save that for the left-hand side. Plus Twist 8, uh, I want it to stay Moonlight. But I also don't want to take either of these cards. So, um, I'm just going to go with a sidekick and call it a day. Nope, standard. Watch the next card. The, after the, I lose the game, the very next sidekick is going to be a, a ranged sidekick. Alright, and reshuffle. Give me give me that Karnak rare and a bunch of Karnaks. Let me, uh, when recruited, everything. Trust me, though, as soon as the uh, next twist is played, I'm going to start recruiting everything because, uh, everything I want. Because I don't have to worry about managing the city anymore. Or the HQ anymore. Two, three, four, five, six. I got the rare Karnak, and I got two attack here. And I can draw a card. So maybe, just maybe, this will be good. There's the artifacts. What do we have? There it is. The final avoidable twist has occurred. Twist number eight. Sunlight. I don't have sunlight, so I'm safe. So now I'm no longer safe from any of the twists. I lose after two more twists, no matter what I do. Because I couldn't avoid those two. Well, let's see what I can do. I'll play both the artifacts for uh, four recruit when I throw them. So I've got... I think Infinite Foom is uh, 22, 20, 18 if I play that side. I don't think I'm going to get 18. So, let's play Boy Genius to draw a card. It's an agent. Trooper gives you one attack. Break the will to resist. Does not trigger. That's three more attack. That's four. Actually, I should back all of that up because... Um, oh, I already drew a card. Yeah, I should have played this first. You know what? It doesn't matter. It wouldn't affect what I did. So, I'll, I'll back it up. So, what I, what I should have done, let's just play this out. First card I play is Break the Will. Um, and I take out Squirrel Girl. Because I have to play one card. So, I play Break, break the Will, I get three attack, I take out Squirrel Girl for three. When I play out my hand, I do it in order like that, and then I figure it out just for the sake of the stream. So, sometimes I don't do the things in that order. But, uh, that's, that's what I would have done. Okay. And everything else is played. So, uh, two recruit is all I've got. I played Boy Genius, so I get uh, this for three, but uh, I'll take a sidekick. Come on, give me a rain sidekick. Come on, please, 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 please. No! No such luck. I didn't throw my Maces of Chains, so they stay out to hopefully power up the rare when it appears. I wish more than two would have appeared this entire game. Ooh, I got, uh, I got the rare, so maybe, just maybe, I'll have enough attack. Speaking of attack... 
Okay, here we go. Villain deck. Big Bertha appears. Big Bertha has size changing strength. Fight each of the player reveals a strength hero or gains a wound. Escape, same effect. Let's play Seek the Center. So, whenever you play a card this turn, including this one, you may first use this card's one recruited ability. I will use it. It's four attack. I will play Find Fatal Flaw. I use its one recruited ability. I get two more attack. I'm at six attack. And once again, I will choose the Henchman, which I believe I have one, two, three, four. Yep, so got four. I get a four recruit for that. Let's um, uh, let's pickpocket the other side. Top card of the left side's deck is right. The answer gives me one attack. Seven. I should have peeked at my own hand to see if I was going to draw something good. So if I decide to play Hercules, discard the agent. That'll put me up to eleven attack, which again is not enough to hit the mastermind. I can hit Big Bertha though right now. Left side can reveal the strength and avoid the wound. So let's let's draw a card instead. Let's play Amadeus Cho. Tech. Draw a card. It is right of the ants. We'll chain that. One attack. Draw another card. We get sidekick. I'll play it. Draw two cards. One and two. Alright, I drew several cards this turn. How many did I draw? I drew one with Amadeus Cho, one with Ride the Ants, and then two with the sidekick. So when I play Giant Ego, I actually get two attack base and then four more attack. Up to 14. Can I hit the Mastermind this turn? Two more troopers give me 16. And I have one class, two class, three class. Oh no! I played Amadeus Cho. I'm missing a strength. I don't have it. I didn't play Manly Dullard. I needed one strength card to hit. So I'm one away. Oh no, this is it's right here. I, I I didn't look over to the side. Yep, I did it. So the card I didn't have on the field is strength. So I do have it. Yep. 22, 20, 18, 16. Oh, thank goodness. Let's hit him. That was not easy to get that one hit on him. You gotta be kidding me on that. Anyway, multi-pronged assault. Each other player reveals at least three hero classes or gains a wound. All right, I've got strength, I've got covert, and I've got tech. I just barely did it. No wounds for me. That's so nice. It says 20 on this. That really makes a huge difference. Okay, and guess who gets the rocket test pilot? This guy. I rescue the rocket test pilot. Choose recruiter attack that hyperspeed three for that icon. Um... Hyperspeed just gives you plus one attack, so there's no way I can get enough attack to hit Big Bertha, so I'll hyperspeed for recruit, even though I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, one recruit, no recruit, no recruit. So I get one more recruit for the hyperspeed. And, uh... No, hyperspeed for that icon, so I get one attack. Oh, I forget how this thing works. Hold on. Let me look at the keyword. Hyperspeed. Where is it? Yeah, I get one. Uh, it's a well. You get one attack for each card with an icon you build. No, I can. I hyper. I get attack for hyperspeeding recruit. Yeah, hyperspeed is baked into the keyword, so I still get attack, but I do it by revealing recruit symbols, I believe. Am I uh, am hyperspeeding for a recruit? Okay, well, I'll take it. All right, so I get the one recruit. And I have one more agent, so I'm at six recruit. And I play it. Yeah, hyperspeed one, that one one, and then I got four from Fine Fatal Flaw. Well, um, I guess I'll take Risky Science because it does get minus two for size changing. I recruit it for three this turn. It will let me draw more stuff. Quicksilver's cards too. Okay, awesome. I think I just second guessed. I think I did it right in the past, but whatever. Down to three. Oh, microscopic. Thank you. I'm up to five. <laughs> Thank you. Microscopic. Microscopic. Ooh, another fine fatal flaw. 
With the rare, it'll give me plus two, but I should probably take Risky Science again. For, uh, since I got two techs, it cost me one. It does let me draw cards, so down to four. Look at all these black cats I don't want here, and I'm not going to be able to KO them anytime soon. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter anymore what the HQ is as far as Moonlight Sunlight. Um, I'll take fight. No, it's only two attack, though. Eh, I'll take it. Find Fatal Flaw for four. Come on, give me more. Give me something better. Okay. She keeps showing up. I do not need her to mess things up for me. All right, would be great if I can get another Great Lakes Avengers over here that would power up that one Karnak card I have. I gotta hit the Mastermind four more times, which hurts to think about. Three, four, five, six, okay. I do have attack potential. I got two artifacts out and everything has attack on it. So I could hit the Mastermind this turn, maybe. I didn't do the math yet. Here we go, turn 29. Flatman shows up, size changing covert, fight, KO a card from your discard pile. So, I've got, um, hey Dre. Oh, by the way, Dre. Speaking of Dre, dot, dot, dot. Congrats on winning setup B this week. You beat Ollie and Kyla and Julian there, and then Snash, and everybody else. So, well done. Good score. All right. Back to the game. Uh, okay, let's do this. I'm not going to get any more artifacts than I already have, so I might as well play Body of Uwu right now for... Hey, and a gifted sub from, from Dre. Thank you for the gifted sub to Privateery Guy. <laughs> well done. All right, for four attack base, plus I got the two artifacts, so that's two more. I'm at six attack. Okay, absorb metal. And uh, three more attack, up to nine attack, because I control an artifact. And, uh, let's... I don't have a tech. Hmm. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, man, I'm so close to hitting the Mastermind. I just need to draw a card, and I can't. Yeah, the not tech is hurting me. Yeah, the two troopers put it over to 11. I'm at 11. Risky Science goes up to 13. Giant Eagle goes up to 15. And Thin Fang Foom gets minus four for uh, Instinct, Covert, Strength, and Tech, but uh, not enough. I'm one away. Oh, that hurts. Well, not much I can do. 11. Uh, 13. Nobody's got to draw a card fight effect. Nope. Uh, 15 from Giant Ego. Thank you. So 15 attack. Well, at least I can I can take out the rest of the Great Lakes Avengers. Does size changing count for artifacts in front of you? Um, no, they don't. So these wouldn't have counted anyway. Yeah, I forgot I didn't play them this turn. Uh, they they wouldn't have counted. So but it doesn't even matter. Okay, uh, Big Bertha. Let's do this. Each player reveals a strength hero or gains a wound. I got strength on both sides, so I'm safe from that. Size changing strength. She only cost me. Uh, five to fight. So she is out of here. And then let's take out Flatman for five. Size changing covert. I take him out for three. So I'm down to seven for what it's worth. Fight KO a card from your discard pile. I will do so. Goodbye, Shield Agent. Goodbye, Flatman. I now have, by the way, one, two, three, four, five. Six Great Lakes Avengers in my victory pile. Yeah, good luck with this then. Um, and that's it. I will keep the artifacts out, of course. And I wish I could move things for the HQ, but I really don't want those black cat cards in my deck. I really don't. Okay, Orgo shows up. You can't fight him unless 
you have already defeated another villain this turn. Well, he can't be fought this turn at all because he's the only villain. So, I hope the next card is not a Master Strike is all I'm going to say. Um, no other card draw opportunities. Ant-Man doesn't do so friendly with non-full tech decks. But that's kind of what this Mastermind requires. So, I'll play... We'll start by shattering the weak point, since I can't do anything else. Is it still my henchman? I've got the one, two, three, four. Yep. I get four attack for shatter the weak point. Prince of Power gives me three recruit. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero. KO it. I've got uh, crowd favorite for two attack. I'm at six. I've got... Uh, Giant Ego for 2 attack, I'm at 8. I've got Risky Science for 2 attack, I'm at 10. I've got the Shield Agent, and I'm at 4 Recruit. Can't fight Urgo, can't find the Mastermind for 4 Recruit. Again, I don't really want any of these. I guess Pickpocket is more useful than Crowd Favorite, so I will, I'll will i take one for the team, and I'll take a Pickpocket just to see if something else better comes up. Ooh, it does! Son of Zeus has appeared! Zero plus attack and recruit rescue a bystander. Then you get plus one attack for each bystander in your victory pile. There is the ramp engine. Avengers, you get plus one recruit for each bystander in your victory pile. I've KO'd so many agents, though. If there's some way I can get this over here, that would be great. Left side has some bystanders. But the right side has a lot. Let me just count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bystanders in the victory pile. Oh, if I can recruit this, that'll be wonderful, but I don't know if I can. I may have gotten rid of too many recruit cards. Oh, no, I have Karnak. Karnak might help. Um, I've got three recruit left. Let's get a sidekick. Sidekick is a standard sidekick. Come on, Son of Zeus has to work out for me. Give me, give me seven recruit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not here. Not here at all. All right, let's go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Why did I do it like that? I didn't wall crawl. I was going for a recruit. I chose not to wall crawl her. But it didn't really work out anyway. All right, good, good call though. Um, there it is. <laughs> Of course, just as the non-defeatable Monsters Unleashed villain enters, he hits with a Master Strike. So that's going to be two Demolishes and KOs. Demolish each player, then do it again for each Monsters Unleashed villain in the city and escape pile and KO all the the heroes demolished this way. That's going to be a five cost. Ouch. And an, ooh, an eight cost. Luckily, I don't think I have any eight cost rares. They're all, they're all seven. Five and eight. Five and eight. So I lose, unfortunately. Shadow of the Weak Point gets KO'd. That hurts. Goodbye. And then the right-hand side also loses a five. Risky Science gets KO'd. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Well, that was my one Shadow of the Weak Point, so all those Great Lakes Avengers on the left don't do anything now because I don't have any more. Oof. That was rough. One attack. It's all up to the artifacts now. Draw a card. One attack. Two more attack. That's three. Three recruit. That's three. And then one more trooper. That's four. I'm taking out my revenge on this Orgo guy. Oh, I can't. I can't fight him yet. Anyway, never mind. I still have to defeat another villain. So he's going to stay there. All right. Uh, three recruit. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm gonna just keep getting sidekicks till I get one of those ranged sidekicks. Come on, give me a give me a ranged sidekick, please, please, no. I'm begging here. Give me a lockjaw. Give me a Lockheed. Give me a special sidekick who's a pet avenger with the word lock at the beginning of their name. Is that so much to ask? Okay. 
This game, it feels like this entire game is just trolling me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's Kitten, Kitten Zabu. Give me a henchman to fight. Cool, a henchman to fight. Human shield. Let's get rid of this, this Orgo. Alright, pickpocket time. Hooray, my favorite card. Left hand side, reveal the top card of the deck. It is a shield agent. How exciting. I got one attack. That's why this card is no bueno. I should have done the right hand side. I probably have better cards over here. But I get to do Brilliant Strategist now. One more attack, and I get to draw an extra card next turn. How exciting. One more card at the end of my turn. Um, let's play Manly Dullard. Three more attack, up to five, and discard my one agent to do so. And I'll play my trooper for six attack. So let's take out everything. First two to take out the human shield, which is the lawyer. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top three cards of your deck. I draw each of them that has at least ten words of rules text. So here they are. Choose a villain group. You get plus one for uh, for each villain. And yeah, that's funny. Oh yeah, everything has more. All three card. Ooh, all three card decks. Yep, draw each of them. Yep, I draw all three of these Karnax. Thanks. That's a great pull. Well, I've got four attack now. Let's find out what happens when I play. I wish... Yeah, I wish I would have played... Uh, wouldn't have played Brilliant Strategist yet. But let's do it. Uh, eight attack. I get all the when recruited effects. Still not going to be enough to hit the Mastermind, though. Um, I get two attack for when recruited. I choose, uh, again, the Henchman. So I get four recruit. I can get the rare this way, though. I could, I, uh, I could fight that commander for... You know what? Yeah. Before I um, before I play this, let's fight the uh, death commandos. Fight the death commandos for two. Uh, goodbye. And I have to KO one of my heroes. It's going to be the shield trooper. Okay, let me make sure my attack is correct. I played this, so I should have... Yeah, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Right. What was my attack? Yeah, Pippard gave me one. Oh, I played Manly Dullard. I played one, two, three, four, five, six. I had nine. And I spent two and two. So I should be at I should be at five. I think. Yep, one. Two, three, four, five, ten. And this, that shows a risk. So I had ten, ten total attack, and I fought two things for two. I should be at six now. I believe. Okay. If I do the math correctly. Uh, find Fatal Flaw. I get the two attack. And I choose the Shear Death Commandos. I have five of them now. So I get five recruit, and I play the second one for the same effect. Um, two more attack and five more recruit. So if I can find the ten, all right. Let's recruit Son of Zeus. This will give me a ton of bystanders, or a ton of attack for all the bystanders I have. This could win me the game if I am allowed the time to use it. All right, for seven. Sweet. And Orgo... Get the heck out of here. No thanks. Down to eight. Doesn't matter how much attack I had. That's where it's going to end. And we'll end by getting a sidekick that was going to be super helpful and ranged. No! I could have taken that, but I was hoping for a range. Lucky light bulbs for good luck. Here it comes. Here it comes. I feel so lucky now. Thank you so much. All right. I get to draw seven cards this turn. Hey, Aisun. There's the first one and a shuffle. Give me that Hercules card. <laughs> that is mean. I don't want... I, I'd like to see you throw a Sabertooth Tiger. Okay. The only one I wouldn't feel guilty about throwing would be, well, actually, either of the flying ones. Give me the ranged... Give me the rare... Uh. Hercules, come on. Two, 
three, four, five, six. And I get one more for that extra card. Uh, with Karnak, seven. Nope. But I have something here. I got a card draw with Ride the Ants. We'll see what happens here. Mr. Immortal comes back once again. His fight effect is reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain or biostator, he goes back into the sewers. Kind of annoying, but at least he's not uh, monsters unleashed. All right. Let's try to manipulate Risky Science. Let's play Boy Genius to draw a card. Agent. Let's play Risky Science. Two attack. And I trigger. You may discard a card. I will discard my Shield Agent. To draw a card. And it is Absorb Metal. Okay. So that means... I can play it. I do control an artifact. See if I can get help. <laughs> uh, three more attack. Up to five. Card favorite, two more. Six, seven. Troopers, up to ten. Still not enough to hit the Mastermind. But I can try to hit Mr. Mortal a whole bunch of times. Actually, that won't really affect... I can, I can hit him five times if I want. <laughs> but he's just going to keep coming back if he comes back once. Um, I hit him once for two. Top card of the villain deck is... Spore. All right, I'm going to hit him four more times. He comes back again, and he comes back again, and I got tired. I gave up. Okay. Um, okay. That does work, though, for things that say whenever you defeat a villain this turn, then that does work. Um, okay. Um, like crowd favorite, but I didn't play an instinct. <clears throat> I'm going to end there. I'm not going to recruit anything. Okay, I drew the rare. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Let me draw into that rare Herc, please. That would be amazing. So Spore is going to come into the city. Who is a monster unleashed. Size changing tech and ranged fight. A hero on the issue gate. Size changing tech and ranged at this turn. Got to get rid of him before I get demolished. But um, let's uh, let's pickpocket my own side to see what's there. I get to draw two cards. So top card of my deck is oof. Okay, well I get no nothing for this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just try to draw some cards until I can uh, maybe get the rare. I'm gonna draw Black Cat first. So one attack, draw a card. It is pickpocket. And I'm just going to blindly draw a second card with Boy Genius. Actually, no. I'll reveal what I've got before I draw that last card. Once again, I'll pickpocket my own side. It is a shield agent. I get one attack for it, but unfortunately... Well, actually, that's good news. Because now I can play Prince of Power... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is... um. Play Shadow the Weak Point. Choose a villain group. I choose the henchman. I get five attack because I have five of them. Up to seven attack. I play Prince of Power. Now that I've played a strength, I get three recruit. I will reveal that card from the top of my deck, the shield agent. I will KO it. And I have one more shot at drawing the card I want. So I'll play the draw uh, boy genius side of Amadeus Cho. And I draw Hercules as rare. Nope. I don't. It was worth a shot. I'm trying to trying to will it into existence. Let's find Fatal Flaw. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of recruit, of course. I get 10 recruit for playing both fine Fatal Flaws. So I'm at 13 recruit. Because I have those henchmen. And Zaba doesn't do anything because I didn't KO anything. I have no hand or discard pile. Is there anything worth getting? I guess I can take Keen the the uh, Amadeus Cho because that's a draw card card. So I'll take this for three. Down to ten. Ooh, absorb metal for the other side. Spore has size changing tech. 
So he is down to five to hit. Got two attack left after I fight him. And a hero in the HQ gain size changing tech and range this turn. I mean, I guess I'll give it to crowd favorite. Um, take him out for five. And then let's try our hand at taking out Mr. Immortal. We'll fight him for two and see if he comes back. Top card of the villain deck is a scheme twist, which is bad for other reasons, but good for this. He's officially gone. So I got the last scheme twist I'm allowed to survive next turn. Let's do it. Let's take crowd favorite. Four recruit. Six left. Let's see what comes up. Another fine fatal flaw. I'm going sidekick. No! I've gotten so many sidekicks. Not the ones I wanted. We'll leave Fine Fiddle Flaw there. And we'll end the turn. Oh, he does have size changing. That's okay. I'm not going to recruit anymore anyway. I mean, for the attack? Yeah. For, no, because I gave him size changing tech. Yeah, so I go down I go back up to, to two, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any more. Okay. Yeah, that is good. I, I could save that for the two attack when I do need it. If I get the opportunity. Because I might be too short at one point. Alright, so right now I can see four, seven, no, six, seven, eight, nine, nine attack, but then that's where I'm locked. Here we go. Scheme twist. That is twist number nine. I automatically get an altered orbit. I think that I have dragged this out long enough and the game is going to crash around me. I've got only one more, well, I have no more twists I can survive. Oh, artifact. No, that's not an artifact in the lair at all. I wish I, more than two artifacts showed up this game. All right. Well, I'm going to go down kicking and screaming. Play Zabu. KO a card from a hand or discard pile. Uh, I will KO the shield agent from my discard pile. I've almost KO'd all the great cards. And uh, Zabu goes away. I just need that rare, that rare Hercules to make an appearance. Hopefully I have a chance to use it. Yeah, definitely Temper Tantrum. Body of Uru gives me four attack plus two for Mace of Chains that are out here. I get six attack. Break the will to resist seven, eight, nine attack. The trooper gives me ten, and these agents that are really annoying that they're still here give me two recruit. Can't fight anything. One more sidekick for me, and it's a standard sidekick. Where are the blue sidekicks, I must ask? So, I don't have the rare Hercules in my hand on the right, but I do have a chance to maybe draw it if the next card is not a Scheme Twist. If it is, there is literally nothing I can do. The game is going to end right then and there. I've been playing for over two hours. I sound like Loki after Doctor Stranger brought him back. Okay. Let's see. This is a good hand. I'm not going to blame it on you. No worries. All right. Here we go. Villain deck card. There's some dust on it. All right. Get off of there. That, this card needs a new sleeve. Okay. It's just Monsteroso. Yeah, that's too bad. I recognize it wasn't a twist because the twists don't have that on the back. Um, size changing, strength, and instinct. Fight when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. Draw an extra card. I get to draw some cards. Give me Hercules' rare. Sidekick, please. Here we go. One. The last card in my deck. Hey, there's Greg Pass. Thank you for the follow. I did it. All right. And I have Avengers. I think we're going to hit hard this turn. I have a lot of bystanders. Let's start with Seek the Center. Four attack. Everything else that has one recruited triggers. Um, do I have any other instinct? I don't. So I'm just going to play crowd favorite first. So for the Avengers... Oh, I guess I could play Ant-Man first. I don't have any tech. 
Yeah, I'll play crowd favorite. I'm not going to get any other instinct, I'm sure. Two more attack. Crowd favorite. Now we'll play Son of Zeus. Here we go. Rescue a bystander. It's a standard bystander. Then you get plus one attack for each bystander in your victory pile. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attack. Ten attack on top of the six that I already have. So that's enough to hit with uh, all four classes, which I do have. So I'm going to hit him. Plus, I get ten recruit. Yeah, I was, that, this rare is going to save me if I can survive that long. Ten recruit because I played an Avenger. So, yes. He is minus for Instinct, Covert. I have to play other cards first before I can hit him. So, let's play Risky Science for two more attack. That's my tech card. And let's play Giant Ego. Uh, as my strength card. I played one... I played a sidekick, I believe. So I get two attack for the two extra cards I draw. I played this turn. Right? I played a sidekick, right? I think so. Uh, 22. Oh, it's on the die. Duh. Alright. So I'm at 22. Double dice. Almost enough to hit him just legit. Straight up. But uh, I'm going to hit him for 16 because that's the lowest I can get him to. Let's do it. Alright, next tactic. Oh, I already played Hercules. Hercules is already strength. I could have waited. I missed that. Yeah, we got all four. Okay. Uh, flammable Acid Breath. Fight KO the top card of the hero deck, then each other player KOs a hero of that hero class from their discard pile. Lucky for me, the left side has no discard pile, but let's see who gets KO'd. It is... Oh, that would have been a great one to get, but uh, goodbye. Okay. Left side doesn't do any KOs. No discard pile there. Chugging along, I play Brilliant Strategist. I get the one attack from one recruited from the rare, and I get an extra, draw an extra card next turn. And with luck, I'll draw the rare Hercules again because I have no deck. Followed by the Shield Agent, I'm at 11 recruit. I don't really want to take anything else. I just want this Son of Zeus to keep coming back. So we'll go with another sidekick for two. Standard. Down to nine recruit. Um, I can fight Monstroso. And I get to draw an extra extra card next turn. Cool. Um, oh, two attack total. That's right. Because um, the one recruit in his base. Well, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Um, I size change him down to one. <laughs> so I spend one attack. And I get to draw two cards next turn. So if I can survive... That's probably going to be a great hand, too. Okay. Everything gets shuffled, and I draw eight cards. There are two twists left in the deck, and there's got to be, like, less than ten cards or about ten cards left. I think it's less. So I could draw one of those two twists in the next two turns and lose. But also, there's a Master Strike left. I've already played both Bystanders, and I'm pretty sure there's more henchmen in there. All right, give me a good hand. Here we go. Eight cards. One, two, three, four. Did I use Zabu? No, that was a different Zabu. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, I drew the rare. And I can get more bystanders. Cool. Watch the game end right here. It easily could. So, I think it might be a henchman because I... Had four over there, and I had like two over there, and none escaped, so there's got to be four more henchmen left. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, cool. Human shield, I will ignore you. I want to I want to survive to one more turn. Sidekick is played to draw two. One, two. All right. Let's do it. Um, absorb metal gives me three attack. Let's break the will to resist. Three more attack. Each player discards the bottom of their deck. For each non-gray card discarded this way, you get one attack. Bottom of my deck is... I guess I could throw one Mace of Chains. But then if it's the rare... Nah, I won't throw them. I'll just... I, I have mostly non-gray. So, left side discards uh, this divided card. I get one attack there. 
Right side is going to discard from the bottom, Giant Ego. Okay, those are the bottom anyway. Doesn't really matter. I'm at 8 attack. Um, I'm going to draw a card with uh, Ride of the Ants. 9 attack, and I draw a Trooper. That's too bad. It ends there. Giant Ego gives me up to 11. I drew one extra card, so I'm at 12. Shield Trooper puts me up to 14. If only I had a ranged card. Not for lack of trying to recruit. I don't have an instinct either that I didn't play this turn, so it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Oh, did I play a sidekick? I don't recall if I played a sidekick. Even if I did, I couldn't hit Fin Fang Foom because I don't have an instinct played. So, that's too bad. Okay, well, if I did, I'll put up to 16. But still, I didn't play Mesa Chains this turn, and I can't uh, I can't hit Fin Fang Foom. He's at, uh, he's at 18. Three classes played. So, let's fight the Human Shield, I suppose. It is Public Speaker. I get one recruit. That's neat. And, uh, maybe I should have let the... I mean, I'll leave the Death Commanders for the other side so it can power itself up. So, alright, that's my turn. I'll get I'll get a sidekick. Maybe it'll be a ranged one this time. No! It's always when you need something that it never shows up. <sighs> alright, this hand should be good if I can survive it long enough to play it. So we'll see if I do. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Here it is. Three, two, one. Of course. <laughs> that would have done it, I think. No, it wouldn't have done it, but uh, we got close. So that is twist number 10. Yeah, there weren't that many cards left in the villain deck. Same effect. Fourth altered orbit. And that is going to be it. I gave it my best shot. This is going to be a great score for a loss. But unfortunately, evil wins. Just for fun, do you want to find out how much attack I would have gotten if I played this handout? Um, Fin Fang Foom has three more tactics. So I, I want to play it out. I want to see what would have happened. So... Uh, let's play the sidekick. Let me get my drawn card counter just in case. Um, I draw two cards. One, two. Hey, there's Throg. Um, let's play Find Fatal Flaw first. Um, I get uh, five recruit. Let's go with Crowd Favorite. To attack, when you defeat a villain, get a bystander. We'll play the other crowd favorite. When you defeat a villain, get a bystander. I got... Um, I'll play Throg for two more recruit. And his effect triggers, so I get two more attack. I'm up to six attack. Um, I will... I have no tech played. So I will fight right now the Shi'ar Death Commandos. I'll fight him for two. Down to four attack. I have to KO this shield agent here. I'll play it first. Nope. Is it from your hand? Nope. I'll play the shield agent before I fight it. And then I'll KO the shield agent. And uh, I fought a... I fought a villain. So I got two bystanders. One free Turk. Um, I got a standard and an alligator trapper. Uh, patrol the sewers. If it's empty, I get plus two recruit. Up to ten recruit. Let me count my bystanders real quick. One, two... Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be twelve. Eleven, twelve. Yep. Yep, yeah, it's twelve. So with no other way to get bystanders, let's play Son of Zeus, which is going to give me twelve attack. I'm at sixteen attack, plus twenty more, ten more recruit. Nope. No, uh, twelve more recruit. So I'm at twenty-two recruit right now. Followed by um, Shatter the Weak Point. Actually, before I do that, let's hit the Mastermind. Do I have all the classes? I've got Instinct, Strength. Ooh, I don't have Covert, so that's gonna that's gonna hurt. I'll play Risky Science then. 
I've got uh, two more attack. 18. Yes. Um, I, I forgot to rescue a first bystander. I missed that one. So, it's a standard. So that means both uh, the attack and recruit go up by one. Okay, uh, I don't have covert. So I would have to spend um, 18 attack to hit Fin Fang Foom. Yeah, 22, 20, 18. Um, I guess I'll do it because I don't see any way I can get a covert. So I, I do so right now. This doesn't really count. Game ended. But tactic number three is alien dragon technology. I hear when the issue gets size changing all this turn. I don't know. I give it to Karnak. <laughs> I give him size changing everything. And uh, I'm going to set this aside. Not in my victory pile. Actually, to count my VP, I have to adjust it. So those three bystanders I got and the tactic don't actually, aren't actually my victory pile. Um, neither is the uh, death commando. Okay. Um, so, one attack. I play Shadow of the Weak Point, which is going to give me five more attack. I'm at six. And then Zabu KO something, and that's the end. So I wouldn't have been able to win yet. The villain deck has... Uh... All right, so it was Squirrel Girl, Master Strike, Henchman, Henchman, Scheme Twist, uh, Troll. So if I had not failed one of those two orbits I failed... I wouldn't have lost until this twist, so I might have had a shot. I would have had, f like, f uh, five more turns, I guess, because this turn would have counted. Oh, uh, it was close. I look forward to seeing how you guys do. Uh, I will be entering myself into the uh, rankings again. I can't win. I can't place, but you'll be able to uh, it'll adjust everything that way. So let's count my VP just for the sake of uh, keeping track of that. I took out all the cards I got after I lost the game. So, here we go. Left-hand side got 1, 3, 7, 9, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 25, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34 on the left. And on the right side, we got uh, 2, um, yeah, 9, 10, he's 7, right? he's 7, that's crazy. Um, 12, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Nope, 35, 6, 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 on the right. So with uh, the amount of turns I did, how many turns did I do? 38 turns till the game ended. So 76 total points. 38 turns. Wow, it's ex two points per turn exactly. If my math is correct, exactly two points per turn. And, uh, yep, that's all you need to know <laughs> for, for how I did. And, uh, by the way, when I put up the uh, form for this setup, I'm also going to add a section. I think this is Micro Disney that brought this up. I'm going to add a section for how many... Oh, I'll do the prediction in a second, don't worry. I'm going to add a section for how many tactics were defeated because we have a theory that maybe ranking by number of tactics that were defeated could be useful. Don't worry, we're not ranking by it. I just want to have the data so I can compare and see if it would have significantly changed anything. So if I did do that, and I will report it, um, I actually defeated uh, two tactics, not three. I defeated two. So I'm just going to write that in just in case. All right, let's end the prediction. Some people are getting some points. So let me just tell you that much. And then we're going to go pay it forward and say hi to a fellow board gamer somewhere. I couldn't quite win. I did my best. It was a lose. And now 17,000 channel points are going out. So um, enjoy those, anybody who got those. <laughs> hey, first time chat from Zibli. First time in a live stream and started playing this game. And I uh, just can't put it down. Uh, yeah, I obviously have the same problem, <laughs> but welcome. If you're not in the Discord, come on to the Discord. Uh, we, If you can't put it down, that's the place to, to, to be, because we also can't put it down. We talk about it all the time. But uh, thank you for joining me to, uh, at a live stream and saying hello. I appreciate it. And uh, good luck to you if you decide to take on this setup. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for being here for my very last live stream of the year. There's going to be YouTube premieres going out on uh, Saturday and next Tuesday and Thursday. Hey! Mr. Giraffe gifted a sub to Zibli, so welcome. Thank you. That was very generous of you, Mr. Giraffe. 
I appreciate that. So yeah, uh, YouTube premieres are going out. The Saturday game's going to be fun. I don't uh, make sure you don't miss that. I'll be in chat saying hello. And uh, thank you for a wonderful year, not just of legendary, but of community, of discussion, of, of friendship, of everything. So I really appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful new year, wonderful holidays, and I will see you in the new year, hopefully for some new expansions. All right, we're going to go do a raid. And uh, yeah, 2 a.m. Y'all, please, please go to sleep. What is this game? Uh, I'm going to go to the end screen, and we're going to go raid somebody. Happy everything, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Amazing year, absolutely. All right. Take care, everybody. See you in 2022.